Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. We are live. What's up, y'all? Jay Mitch, it's on you, sir. Yo, what's going on? Thank you, everybody, for joining. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. I'm in here with the homies. Go ahead, homies. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Let's start off with Rattle Can. Go ahead, bro. Hey, Rattle Can in the building. Call me Mr. Speed. Speed Run King. That's what oh. you need to call me from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what's up. Super Day, go ahead, brother. What's going on? What's going on? Super Day, RC Misfits, ATL. Welcome to the chat tonight. Go ahead, my homie, Big Reg. I'm you with up. you, uh, Rattle. Speed Run Rattle. <laughs> <laughs> what's good what's, what's good what's good uh youtube how y'all doing how y'all doing out there welcome to another live stream we lit go ahead mr game dog YouTube what's up land. You, folks. peace and love youtube land game dog rcog baby yo we doing things a little different tonight guys you know what i mean i hate being on camera but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna represent uh the homie big gap he, you know, he ain't with us. He with us in spirit. He with us in chat right now. Uh, so just want to uh, recognize the man who made it all possible. Uh, and what's, what Gab say? What Gab say? We want to see them likes. Get them likes up. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, wipe your feet off. I don't know, Rattle. <laughs> what he be saying? Yeah, wipe, wipe your feet, feet before you come into my house. Yeah. <laughs> wipe y'all. You know what I mean? Kick the Tims off as soon as you get in the house. Don't track that shit in the house. You know what I mean? That's so it. tonight, um, I guess we just gonna go off the cuff, man. We're gonna go off the cuff. I guess we could talk about uh, you know, people's goings on of the week. You know, Rattle can he the speed master this week. So so rattle, let's talk about your new your new name. Like, what's this about, brother? Hey, so uh me and Dave went out Saturday. All right, did, did a speed run. Uh, bang 98 on that bad boy. I was impressed. My goal is just to do 100. I'm not trying to be in there with y'all big boys doing 1,000 miles an hour, mm. this, that, and the third, and you got you a little rocket ship coming down the road. I just want to break 100, maybe 110, somewhere around in there, but definitely break 100, and I think I'll, I'll be good with it from there because I still want to be able to course race this same car. You know, okay. so I, I don't want to just put it on the shelf and just run it down the road once or twice. But yeah, yeah, that's my goal. So we're gonna see what's up. And what, what you do? What you said you did? What ninety? What ninety eight? Oh, nine. Oh, you right there, brother. Yeah, yeah. We right, right there. there. We right there. He, he, he don't right. have that much to do. He just need to change his batteries. That's it. Yeah, so, change his batteries. So, Rattle, I'm curious. The people want to know: Was you using Hobby Wing to do this speed run? <laughs> was it hobby wing involved brother or was it you know i'm gonna come in the castle so, hey, so, people here we go. Go. right it's coming it's coming what you know what hold on before i answer that let me let me get the chat let me say what's up to everybody in the chat hot wheels in the building what's going on matthew senior uh gap hey what's going on man gap is gap is in the chat y'all just so y'all know we got di freeman in the building kayla perry what's going on what's going on RC Daniel, um, Hot Wheels in here, Sir Thizzle, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, Sir Thizzle, you gotta let us know how uh how, how you enjoyed uh Rock Mart today. So yeah, gonna go put that in the chat. So back to your question. Because the people do want to know. The people want to know. The people want to know. And I, I I understand. If I was the people, I want to know too. If mm -hmm. I was the people, I would want to know too. Was it a Max Six? Was it a Max 5? Like, what was it? You it was know? a Max 5. A V1 Max 5. V1 Not Max even 5. a V2. Ooh. Mm. Right. With Holmes. I seen the video. I seen the videos. Yes. It was the two homes. videos. So, 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 Reg, don't say nothing about the second one, because I, I didn't mean for that one to go public. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I didn't mean for that one to go public. That was, uh, but I, I uploaded that one first mm. on accident. Okay. But yeah, Jay Mitch, it, it's a it's a hobby wing ESC and a castle motor. So I got the best of both worlds in there okay. running right now. I, so, I shouldn't yeah. have any fires. Mm -hmm. Um and <laughs> you know, if anything happened, it, it'll shut down and you know, then I'd figure something else out. What it castle goes, motor? I'm curious. It's a uh 1650 1100. 
Oh, you run the big boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the was the was the ESC able to to power you through, or was the was the uh deficiency with the gear and like like what's 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 holding you back from hitting that hundred? I honestly think it's just me. I think I'm just holding myself back because mm. I yeah. wasn't really trying to hold it for too long. You know, because once once the car goes by you, right. And you you see the car coming, it goes by you. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Super Dave is cracking the hell up. Because oh, he was out there with me. You know, he was out there with me. Hey, he, he was a cameraman. Super Dave was a cameraman. Yeah, you know, I was a spotter, JB. Oh, you was spotting. <laughs> you know, I was a spot game. I was a spot game, bro. Hey, he he was an A one spotter, bro. He he, yeah, he, yeah, was, he, was, he was talking across the road. He said, "Come okay. over here so you can see, man." He did yeah. he did a good yeah. job. Okay, but yeah, what, once you see the car go by you. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, it's moving. Right. And in my mind, I'm thinking I'm fast enough. So I don't nah. have to send it down the road too far. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, I guess I got to hold that throttle a little, a little while longer. And yep. maybe, I probably got to get into it a little bit sooner. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 yo, Rattle. So what happened is, let's just say hypothetically, you think you're going fast. If mm-hmm. you hold it a few seconds longer, the battery voltage is going to start rising back up and your motor going to make a different revving sound you haven't heard it make before. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's how you know then you speed running is like kind of by ear. You you know what I mean? You can you can just hear hear the motor, what that motor doing, um, and, and how that car, you know, cutting through that wind, especially on the limitless. It's right. just a different sound. You're gonna hear okay. it. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna gonna try it out again. Yeah, he hooked. He hooked now. Y'all got it hooked now. We hooked. That's what's up. Job done. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. So, like, are are I mean, you know, real speed runners don't give out the gearing, but I would be interested to know if you felt, you know, comfortable with sharing with the world what kind of gearing were you running? Hey, hold on, hold on, real quick, uh, Rattle. Before you say that, Jay Mitch, he has a V2 Limitless. It's not the old school V1. Just want to throw that out there. Okay. Okay. That yeah, those yeah. That, that final gear ratio is different. They make sure. a big difference. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rattle. All right. So I have a 47 tooth uh spool. Okay. With the opinion is a 39 tooth. It's either 38 or 39, something like that. Okay. Do you you think you got room on that motor mount to go up on any gear in it all? Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I, I put the uh the big slide on there. Okay. So yeah, it's got it's got some room. Okay. It's got some room. Yeah, you got 98 miles an hour. If you stuck, if you hanging on 98, you could you could go up a couple more teeth on the mm-hmm. on the hanging gear, like a 41. That should get you. That should get you like 107, 108. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah, like you know, 41, 47. Or the other option is um you can go down. You can go down on your spur gear, and uh, that that'll give you increase too. But uh, you probably can't go much further down because that motor might start hitting that center drive line. So you got to uh-huh. kind of run at least. I think the smallest one I've seen, like I run a thirty nine or thirty eight, but then you mm-hmm. really got to over gear it on the pinion side of the game. Right. So okay. You try. You could try thirty nine, thirty nine. That'll that'll definitely get you. Pat- 39 39 you might be doing 130 i mean but oh wow he also yeah. got that 1100k uh, he got that that big motor that big boy but then we yeah. got to keep in mind too hobby wing is very um you know hobby wing is like uh hobby wing is like dorex condoms you know you'll be safe <laughs> you'll be safe <laughs> You know what I mean? Even if you blow, you're gonna be ain't nobody gonna get hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just gonna turn off. It'll 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 let you know. It ain't gonna let you hurt it. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. Yeah, yeah. You should be good. So you know, I I um I don't know. It's just I'm in there now. Okay. okay. I'm in there now. Now I will say this though. When it comes down to saying, oh, okay, the pockets are unlimited to get it to go faster, I'm not going to do that. Like, I got to work with what's in my house right now. 
Okay. And, or maybe, you know, I might order like a couple more gears or something like that. But as far as like, oh, yeah, you need to go get this motor and get this ESC and do. Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. I feel what you're trying to do. You just want to get triple digits and be good. I yeah. Get, I got yeah. it. I got it. Yo, Rather, you got to go for the 125, man. 100, 100 going to be so easy. Well, you're not even going to hit 100. You're going to hit over 100. You gonna, you yeah. might as well, you know, 125 next year, you know, 140. Next year, 150, you know. Mm-mm. You're going to so, hit 106. I'm going to tell, tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, what my own, I, I'll say, for lack of a better word, fear is mm-hmm. when it comes to speed runs. Crashing. Crashing. Crash one thousand percent of crash. Well, if you ain't crashing, you ain't speed running. Then I, yeah, if it'll you ain't crashing, right you ain't speed running, brother. You yeah. ain't, you ain't do it. You haven't really, <laughs> you haven't been inducted until you blow an ESC and and crash. It don't even have to be a total loss. It could be some of the most common crashes and speed runs. The car will just backflip and land on his wheels. Now I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Now, if you just can't drive and that curb just jump out of nowhere, then that's on you. <laughs> like, oh, that, I didn't even see that curb. The curb just jumped in front of me. I guess on and you, it, it ain't gonna be nice. Yeah. I, um, but yeah, I, I yeah, crashing to where I gotta walk down the street to go pick up pieces to my car. Yeah, that's not a good feeling. Yeah. I've experienced that at the velodrome, mm-hmm. and it's it's really just heartbreaking. Uh, yeah. Super Dave, you co-signing uh, Rattle Can's uh, attempt? Well, uh, there's from a your lot perspective, of work. Actually, Super Dave, let's go through it from your perspective as, yes. as the professional spotter and cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of work that, that we need to improve on. Uh, okay. Or oh, I'm going to add uh, another title to your name, Coach, Speed Run Coach. Yes. Yeah, yeah there you go. Well, he has all the tools to to make it happen. Uh, he don't need to do nothing else but put a, a better quality of battery in there, and mm. he'll hit a hundred. Uh, okay. He had some not so good quality speed run worthy type batteries, mm. which uh, is why he's so excited right now because everything was pretty basic. Okay. So with the basic equipment, he was able to reach ninety eight miles an hour. Mm. So with a little more uh, tweaking of the quality of equipment, he'll hit 100 easy. I mean, he he can hit it with what he has now. Uh, Mm -hmm. He does have to loosen that neck up a little bit so he can can track the car a little bit. (laughs) Yeah, that that tracking that car is a little little off. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, (laughs) Thank God for spotters, huh? But other yeah. than that, and, and the fear of going full throttle, he still has that fear what? of mm-hmm. full throttle. Full throttle for three uh, to five seconds. You got to get full throttle for three to five seconds, right? Right. It, three to five seconds? Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch full throttle and then, because it's a delay. The car got to get to full yeah. throttle. You know what I mean? The motor got to work. The you know, And then you got to get rid of them hoons. You get rid of them hoons. Let them GRPs get hot, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, you're gonna be yeah. you know, even your radio, you know, you can you can put you can turn that radio down down the delay where you pull it full throttle and it takes five to eight seconds to ramp up to full yeah. speed. You don't have to think about it, you just gotta steer it. Look, you this, got, my, this is my full throttle time right here. I'll I'll see it coming. That, no. that much. Uh, <laughs> just hold. The battery. <laughs> just hey, hold. I, Hey, I, I wish you had a castle so you can see what you're doing. You can see that you didn't get 100% out or how long you had 100% yeah. out. You know, you can see the throttle curves, the braking. You can see everything that you're doing right and wrong or what the oh. car like and don't like, you know. But, you they know, long. if you just wait on it, you know, that the one I, I'm sending you going to be there, like, just, just got to wait on it. Yeah. And you, you can't pull it all at once. You got to work on that, that finger. Like, it's like a slow, progressive yeah. pull. But that limitless, once you're in tune with your car, once that limitless is going straight, it's straight as an arrow. And then all yeah. that, you just got to concentrate on that. Now, you're talking about a habal or something else. You might have to drive a little bit. But any of the limitless is one of the – everybody will tell you, limitless is straight as an arrow, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the more, the faster it goes, the straighter it goes, or whatever trajectory it's on, it'll drive itself. So if it starts mm -hmm. veering off, it's just gonna keep veering off. Then you gotta drive it. But once yeah. it's dialed in, all you concentrate is on that, on that, on that throttle pull. And you can't pull it fast like that. You pull it fast like that, you are gonna have yeah. ripple. You gonna have all kind of stuff. And with that hobby wing equipment. Uh, you're going to hit that voltage cutoff. You got to ease in on that voltage. You don't want that voltage sag. You get that voltage sag real quick like this. Right. You ease on to it. You count it down. You practice. Yeah. You know? Hey, yo, hey, hey, yo Rado, one thing that can I really think that help you get there or help you achieve it faster than without, without changing anything, like electronic-wise, mm -hmm. I don't know if you cut down one of your things on your wing. Cut down one level. Take off of the front, the front black pieces. Like those, that makes you five to ten miles an hour faster. And on, the, and then on the rear spoiler too. Oh, the little fans yeah, on the front. Put that spoiler but, down flat. You no, nah, I wouldn't go flat yet. It has I'll a line. Flat. It has a line. You could take it down one line. I guarantee you, you're gonna gain three to five miles an hour. If you take the front black pieces off, let's say you don't want to modify them, it's one screw. You take that screw out on both sides, put it back in without the black pieces. That's a guaranteed. Yeah extra five or so miles an hour on top of what the wing was going to give you because you, you you cutting down all drag that car has a lot of drag that helps it go straight like that you know be a little rocket a little arrow all right yeah. well y'all still got all the fins on the front they on the front uh, the wing stock on the back mm. all right, Yo, uh, Brad, let's get some of these comments though i know people have been talking people been cracking up yeah get some of these comments real quick brother all right, I'm starting with uh, all right, da, 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 we all caught up with that. All right, we're going with Sir Thizzle at mm. 942. He was saying he was watching Talbot today at Rossa. Mm. Uh, he broke the 175 mile an hour barrier. Oh, nice. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Uh, Psycho 73 in the building. What's going on? What's going on? Double R in the building. What's good? Hey, Double R, you went to Rockmar, right? Tell us how it went. Tell us your thoughts on Rockmar today. Uh, Sir Thizzle went out there. I saw his comment earlier. Uh, why are I in the building? What's going on? Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, Doc in the building. What's good, Doc? Hey, I sent I sent the link to the link in the chat if you want to get in here. All right, so yeah, we caught up on on the comments. Um, so basically, cut cut the uh, take the fans off the front. Mm -hmm. Cut the rear wing down some, or y'all saying leave that like it is. Until we try it again. No, you you have to cut the rear wing down at minimum. The front the front wings has the same thing. I just don't know if you want to alter those pieces. Um, taking right. them off is going to make it less stable. I will be honest. Yeah. So taking it, just oh. cutting it, cutting every, all three of the wings down, um, one line that would make you a lot faster. The car is going to be a little less stable, not in a bad way, just in a way that it's cutting it's cutting through the wind more, mm -hmm. versus you know all that drag. Gotcha. But but you might can do that without with, with your with your G, uh with your hooms though. I know when you cut the wing, do something with that splitter. Um, it's also something in the back of the body you're supposed to cut. The back of the body has like this lip towards the top. Yeah. People usually cut that off the little oh, corner. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Okay. But that stuff would gain you a lot of mile an hour, and you with your max five V1 uh G1. <laughs> like, no, I'm for real. It would make you like really like you know. You, 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 other people be wondering why they set up ain't doing that now. What yours doing? Right. Like, I, mean, I, I hit a hundred something with the, the max five. You're like, what? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you, okay. You'll be there. All right. Yeah, see, keep it like back here. You cut, you trim that little, it's like a little spoiler wing thing at the back of the body. Right. Trace that thing out, trace it out around, just cut it out, leave a little, you know, a little nipple part there. And uh, there you go. That's how you want to trim the back of the body out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see my body is uh barely holding on after my crash on Saturday, but it is what it is. Hey, that yeah, that's the part that's like I don't want to crash. You going to crash though, man? It's all right. It's, it's all right. If Just you go ahead ride, and if you ride, you will fall. Cat Williams' voice. Yep. <laughs> like if you one of them people, I don't know nobody who just go hundred and be like, all right, I'm cool. Like, nah, you you gonna get that bug, come back out again, right? You so, I, so all right, I say this: everybody has a past of some sort. In order for you to get to this stage, we was mm -hmm. all teenagers, we was all in our twenties, we was all in our thirties doing shenanigans, and 
Yeah. Now nah, I'll be good at a hundred. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Super Dave, hold it to him. If he if he say he want to come out after he do one hundred six, don't let him. <laughs> so he gonna need his own spotter, like nah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got the, I can't do it. Spotter, yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna like, nah. with you. We ain't coming out there. <laughs> All right, uh, Gap say rap, Gap say hobby Wayne for the win. Oh, oh man, <laughs> yo, kick him out, kick him out, yo, <laughs> kick him out the chat. Oh man, bad, man. Right in the building. We're, 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 we're going like that <laughs> We're we got bad, Daz right? RC. Oh yeah, we got Daz RC in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on? What up, Daz? Uh, Double R telling us about Rock Mart. He said Rock Mart was nice. Had a good time. Won a couple of races. I will definitely go back out there. They got some good races out there too. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Yo, game dog. Gap is uh, Gap is with us in spirit today in the chat. I, I think he's on a on a lovely tropical island somewhere. You know where they only got Wi Fi. So, <laughs> <laughs> the hobby wing Wi Fi, <laughs> yeah, hobby wing Ho island, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, <laughs> so basically, he called me Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> 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 so, hold on, that's messed up. <laughs> I think he got a little bit better. He, I definitely he he upgrade over Kirby though. He's gonna take him over Kirby, man. Yeah. Hey Ted in the building. What's going on, Ted? Yo, Ted. Yo, what's Teddy going on, Rucks. fellas? Hey, we Good we not really Ted. bringing up the verses each other. We just bringing up what I was working with in my stash of of, of tools. <laughs> I'm gonna say if he had the different other tool in there, it might have went a little bit different. Uh, uh. So 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 you oh you saying it probably would have caught on fire? Is that what you're saying? Oh, See, I oh. Oh, no 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 no! I don't want no. that. Nah, it wouldn't have it wouldn't it wouldn't have did that. You three digits would have appeared on your GPS is what he's trying to say, <laughs> and then some. Yeah. Hey, hey yo, Rado, I got a big suggestion for you, bro. Mm. I know you running the 46, 47, You said, yeah, forty seven. Put a 39 in there, thank me later, and then you can hang up your whole speed running career after that. I guarantee you're gonna hit like 115, 120. I told him to flop him. I told him to switch huh? to flip flop him. I told him to switch what he got going on right now. Change that 47 to the pinion and put that 37 to the spur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if if, if, I, if I'm thinking right, he has I don't think he ha do you what do you have a gear or do you have something stock as that spur as that spur? Or no, school? the spur is a it's, it's true, eight millimeter pinion, yeah. Yes, oh, it's a true uh spur gear. Yeah, swap swap that around. You're gonna thank us later. You're gonna go so fast. You're not even you might not even reach full throttle for that long, to be honest. And you might not have to cut your body and all that because you're gonna have torque working against everything we saying. That's he shakes like a stripper midstream now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to talk about something popping? I don't know if that hobby wing gonna make it with that oh, gear anyway. Well, I told him what to do with that to kind of mitigate that some, you know. I was like, you know, take your throttle exponential, run it up as high as you can and kind of like, you know, ease into that thing. And also don't do more than one pass like he was doing earlier. He was back and forth having a bad session. Yeah. yeah. Bad. Oh, yeah. Send it down. Send it back. Send it back <laughs> down. But, but I bet you that motor never got hot, right? That's a big motor. That motor don't, don't get hot like motor, that. Yeah. Yeah, and you're not, not put, you're not even putting that many amps through it. And he run, and he, and he not over gearing it. He he, nah. he yeah, he got good gear. Uh, I'm wondering what connectors was you running? QSA, QSA. QSA. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, Super Dave. Good. Keep him. Keep him honest. Keep him honest. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what batteries you was running. Was you running Z's or Vonix? Oh, we already yes, know it was Z's, wasn't it? Oh, Z's. Yeah. Oh. The old Z's too. So he had the the man nothing. He had some Z's. Right? <laughs> he had the, he had the Genesis editions. He's a Genesis edition. <laughs> I told you that was a speed run budget edition. Man, he he was right there. Rattle, if you would have just held the thought of for a couple more seconds, you would have hit the honey. I ain't gonna tell him what you got the second time around, but you was right there. You was knocking at the door. You should have just walked on in. Hey, look. I'm gonna go out there again. All right. 
I'm you, that again. you should go live when you do it too, so we can talk trash about that hobby wing while you're doing it. <laughs> we, no, 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 we gonna record it that way. We, I can. Ooh. Got that hobby <laughs> wing. Like, yeah. If you would, if you'd had a castle, you'd have did it, brother. Been trying to. <laughs> Super Dave, you've been trying to tell him, right? You've been telling him, right? He hard headed. No, because my my hobby wing did. I did 108 out there. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah the, the hobby. Wait, the hobby. Hobby, hobby okay. wing give it to you. It give it to you. Okay. Yeah, and that was just on some put it on there. Let me go on up here one time and hit it. Mm. I wasn't even, you know. You weren't even trying. No, nah, I just one oh eight. Okay. All right, yeah. Rattle. Let's get it. Let's see what you got. Why? Why didn't Rattle yeah. record yours? Did he record yours? Yeah, I got to record. I just didn't oh. post it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay Rattle, but I had, I ran it on this infraction here. It was the infraction. Man. Do you only, the only no, castle you own is a micro or something, Rattle? No, nah, that's me. Oh, you don't own no castle, huh? Hold up. I didn't know you were straight hobby wing guy. Like, Who, that's, me? That's, that's yeah. a Georgia thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got, uh, I got hobby wing, yeah. But, but yeah, most of my stuff is hobby wing. I got one castle set up, and that's that micro 808. You see what that did in that grime, hand. right? Y'all seen that video with the grime with uh, Jason uh, Brandon Bot with it? He yeah. did 10, 106 from the grime. The 106. 106. Easy, easy 106. And then and the I other, think if he had more road, I think he would have you know better, better run up. And yeah. then you saw McCoy did 93 today with his yeah. his video with the ground. Yeah. I gotta get my mini B back out there. They catching up. Like I gotta I gotta get out there. Yeah, I you know I did lose my but micro. They both put too. spools on them grounds mm -hmm. too. They wasn't just regular. Mm. They're using the Connie's RC uh, stuff in the center. Yeah. You got a spool on it. Wow, jeez! I really, I, I really thought uh, James McCoy would have been the first one to hit that hundo though. I think I his know. interest is in that kind of thing. That vehicle. He though. only running three S. The dude that did one hundred six was running four S. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Hey, uh, Rattle, is Gap backstage? She has to do the yeah. end. However, on the rubber free neck version. Skin. Oh, rubber neck skin. He said, got to come on in. That neck with that old rubber neck. Yeah. <laughs> come on <laughs> in. <laughs> rubber neck. <laughs> I, think, I think on the free account, you can only allow six people in, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you, no, you can get more than six. Then you get it to eight, right? Eight or ten. Uh-uh, not on the free. Uh, not on the, not free. on the free. Yeah. I mean, I can get out. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I'm like, hold on, like, just put you backstage. Let me just put you backstage. Hold on. Uh, while we doing that, just want to say thank you, everybody, for joining. You know, bringing Gap up. Um, I hope everybody had a good week. Oh, love. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know y'all couldn't go without seeing me for a minute, baby. What's happening? <laughs> it was good. What's happening? What the word is, fellas? What the word is, man? I've been waiting for the win. Hobby I've been I've been waiting for the boop boop win and Super Dave, aka Kirby 2.0. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> What the word is, man? Hey, man, everybody, man. Hey, don't do like Jay Mitch said. You got to do like the guys said. Wipe your feet before you come into my house, man. Smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> <laughs> what it do, man? What it do? 100, 100 rattle? No, rattle I'm, for the 100. I'm, at I'm at 98 right now. I, hey, I'm close. I'm hey, close. man, 98, 98, 98 is 100, bro. You had to do is just go a little bit further. I really think what Red said though was right on point though. You you trim them wings a little bit, you are gonna get that hundred, no problem. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah, so. uh. That's the goal. You gonna um, get that hundo? Yeah, we want to see it, man. When it went by the first time, I was like, all right, this might be it. Then I came <laughs> up, I was like, oh, this might be it. This might be it. And I thought I, I thought I had it. You gonna know what a hundred sound like when it's going by? You be like, dang, that sound a little bit different. Yeah. Okay. You he know, know what it sound like. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You hear that? You like, dang, you just gonna know it's faster than the last time, just on how it sounds. For sure. Right. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out there. Uh, with your net time router and break my PB. My PB eighty six. So I'm gonna break my PB. Hey, we we should be out there. Uh, um, but I like. I I will say this. I like going out there on a Saturday versus a Sunday. Hey, Big Reg, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, Castle of a Hobby Wing. Any day, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that works. Check the chat, y'all. Check the chat. <laughs> Castle of a Hobby Wing. <laughs> yeah. Scroll thing on the bottom of the other of the video. Castle over hobby. <laughs> Look, matter of fact, once I break a hundred, y'all just gave me an idea. Ooh, boy, people gonna be upset. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. They they hit that they hit that 108 with a hobby win, bro. Oh, and then it, it, it didn't sweat. I don't think I ever did a hundred with a hobby win. I don't think I ever used the hobby wing to do anything like speed or a lot. I, I hit a hundred with that with, with the max five. It wasn't like nothing crazy, but you know, nine mm. S. It still got it still had plenty more in it too. Yeah, plenty it's more. In it. It. I haven't mm. done anything with the punch or none of that. Just doing it right on with the QSH. That's it. Right on. Just hard. Right are you rattled? Turn your punch to one, bro. To one? You don't need no punch for a speed run. You just killing the battery. True, 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 true. true. That's valid. The only, only thing, only thing about, only thing about the hobby wings when you turn the punch down though, it it has a, a a major delay and then it just comes in at one time. Especially he running them, he running them the old Max Five, so you can't really tune it. Um, for you know, what I'm saying you could try to tune it with your with your curve, but when you when you jam on that throttle on that hobby wing with a punch one, it takes so long to come in, and then when it does come in, it's a big burst. So what that what that would do is throw him sideways. Um, yeah, it'll break traction, bro. So it'll be tougher for him with that with that hobby wing. It's better to just keep that punch up high and then just just mellow onto that throttle. Okay, okay. Mm. Gradually guide into it. Yeah. Oh wow. Ted said he did over uh a hundred on the two X happy wing ESC. Ted and Jay Mitch, they the rock they the uh they the they the they the rock they the the weird the mad scientists when it comes to that. Oh. Yeah, they they gonna go fast. You better believe they're gonna go fast every time. You can get them one, yes, they're gonna go fast with it. <laughs> so it, here's my question to y'all then, right? What or where, how you can get them one, they're gonna go did, did did castle just take off like it's taking off in the speed run world? Is it because they give you so much data with the ESCs? Is that what really propelled them? And if you had the tunability, tone, tone tunability. Yes. If you had that same gearing with an XLX2 or a mm. Max 5, or maybe even a Max 6, you would probably get a faster speed. Mm. Mm. Oh, roll look like you got. You got like how 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 long is it? Like half a mile? Like what you got roll wise? Oh, that roll long, Jay. Jay missed that roll long. Bro. You you can you can barely see to the end of it. It's okay. long, bro. Okay, it's long. Okay. So, what did the GPS so it say? won't be a space issue. It won't be a space issue at all for him. Not out there. No, I think that road that, that road probably good for about one eighty. And you, what do you you stand in the middle? Y'all was standing in the middle, right? Y'all don't be at yeah. the yeah. one in it. Yeah. Right. How, how, how much distance did you go, bro? In the GPS, what did it say? The GPS say um, on, on the distance. The you know, he was speed dashing though, so he might have. <laughs> yeah. he would. What are you doing, Jamie? That's when you keep running up and down, up and down. You don't stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speed run is just one solid run. You you go up, do your run, and come back, and then read the GPS. Okay. So I did 50, uh, as far as feet go, fifty two, fifty six. No, I see that. Yeah. yeah, I think three. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't count. Yeah, we, we can't get the data. But if you did, what you did one pass, you just cut that number in half, and that let you know how many feet you got one way. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Or how many feet you wet, yeah. 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 You can do... Okay. All right, Ted is the radio master radio to use a throttle ramp feature. Uh, oh, he also saying that, that uh, Castle always been the ESC to use from the start. Oh, Very oh. interesting. Uh, oh, Ted saying it's not enough room if I did 5,000 on three back-to-backs. Yeah, but you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you only went like a thousand feet either way, though. Maybe if that, yeah. you know, you wasn't for 100, like all you need is like 1200 for like you know to be safe to do 100. You should, you know, you should do one day, one day when you do your next speed run, take the car as far as you can see and as far as you can control it, and then do your speed run that way, you know, that definitely um, will, will get you further. And what radio was you using for Taba? No, radio link. Oh, radio radio link is good. Radio yeah, link yeah. is solid, solid range. It got a nice range with radio link. Right. Yeah. Hold up, the new radio link or the old joint? The new one. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, the new one with uh the seven channel receiver. A lot of people, but they fooling with them eight. I don't. I don't fool with the eight channel. I like the, the seven. Gabe Martinez in the building. What's going on, man? It's been a minute. How you been, sir? How you been? What's good? Mm-hmm. Well, fellas, I'm going to jump out, man. I was just jumping in to say what's up, man. Talk a little trash to y'all, boy. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. Well, enjoy, man. Yes, I'm going to get with y'all, man. I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. Tell Ted he can, uh, he can jump on back in. Keep Ted, that neck going strong, Ted, man. Man. That, that, that rubber, that rubber, rubber. <laughs> You know how I go. <laughs> All right, man. I'll get with y'all. All right. All right. Ted, you back in the mix? Yes, sir. All right, All right cool, cool, cool. Uh, All right, so, yeah, you saying it's not enough room? Well, I don't know if you was using the entire – I'm not sure if you was using the entire thing, but I was saying if you were using the entire thing and going back to back three times the way you did and you only got 5,000 feet, that's not really that much because – Despite that, you know, Jay go to that, you can get like what, like 4,000, 4,200, like going down and back. I seen, I, I seen this run. He didn't really go that far out. You need to go like two, three city blocks out, uh, Rattle Can. You need to go, you know, you need to go out. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you got to, you got to go down there, bro. You got to let the motor and the car breathe. You're not full throttle on it. You, you easing your way into it. So you want to let everything breathe and, you know, rev up. Right. This is distance game for the most part, especially depending on what gearing you're running. Sometimes you gotta let the you know the RPM creep up because I say your motor does sixty five thousand RPM, and with the loaded gear on it, when you first initially hit it, it might only get to forty thousand RPM. So now you gotta let it creep out that last twenty thousand RPM if it can potentially get there if it can pull it. Right. Okay. So just like you in a real car, you know, you in a highway, and you might jam one at the beginning. You jump one, it's like okay, I'm accelerating first, second, third gear. Once you get in third, you know, fourth and fifth gear. You know, it's a longer climb to get that RPM to, to take out to the top of the, the rev range. That's true. All right. Well, hey. We gonna see what's cracking. We definitely gonna see what's cracking. And we're gonna send you an XLX too, man, and uh, get it done. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take donations. Like, you know, this four ninety nine dollars at Big Red Cent, just go ahead and put that to the XLX too. You know, how you know so you can right put it towards a you know a joint and we, if, so, if, we, right. if, we, if we can get the chat congregation to kindly you yeah. know don't put the, the throttle can xlx two fun i started it with five dollars you know what i'm saying um uh, let's go ahead and get them we can get one of them use 150 dollars xlx twos that everybody off huh? you know what let's just get them an xlx one let's just start start no 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 bro that's the art that's that's the number one burnt at XL uh, Castle, bro. I can't I can't sit them. <laughs> no, they would just burn the caps. They would just pop caps most of the time. I, I'll say too. Rattle can't be like, ain't no on off switch on this thing. I don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> XL hey. on off switch. You gotta plug that joint in. It's gonna pop as soon as you plug in the batteries, dog. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, crawlers are like that with no on off switch. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. We need that button. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like that. yo them Jones them XLX ones used to pop crazy especially before they had the um you know the QS8s 
I was using eight millimeter bullets. As soon as you put that joint on, it's like pop. Like, yeah, big big boy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, wow. You can put a, you can put a drain capacitor on them, like the same they do with the MGMs. You put that little Yo, small lead on there. You you right, but we wasn't doing that shit. You know we wasn't. Yeah. We, we damn sure wasn't. Dave, was you was you messing with the Max Oh, Dave ain't. Nah. Right, he, ain't, he ain't messing with the castle, so. It's nah. like that, though. That was like a sign of power, man. You put, you put yeah. that thing up, pop. You're like, oh, what's that? Like, yep, it's like lightning. <laughs> lightning in your hands, dog. Yeah, I, man, I, I never I never ran one, but the guy who put me on phone tires and sticky prep, um, he came. He was hooking. He was like kind of like hiding off in the back of his truck. I heard that thing pop. I ran around. I said, what was that? He said, oh, it was just my ESC. He showed me what it was. It was like, I was hooked. I was like, bro, that thing got to be making a lot of power. Like you said, when you hear that, you see that big old spark and feel it, you mm. definitely can hear it from some feet away. It's it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm confused. So it popped, <laughs> and then you were hooked. No, nah, as you hooking it up, that mother popped. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work. No, no, no it works. works. It's, it's the, just it's filling like, the caps up. You're filling the internal caps up inside there because then the XLX they used to have a whole bunch of caps like, uh, on the front of it okay. on the inside. So when you actually plug them up without any type of suppression, it sucks so much power out of the battery. And initially, it just has a big imp spike when you plug it in. So you hear a real big pop. Older technology. No, I don't want that. I don't Older want technology. That. That's all. Yeah. Oh, that's it, how, that means it work when you when it's popping. It's working. It's I, working. I it, it, that's why I stopped with, with XT nineties. I'm about to say, if you didn't have the QS8s and you had like EC5s or something, EC5s pop. When I hook up 8 and 12s, it definitely popped. It popped today on the hobby wing. I hooked up 11s. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it you say you hooked it up to a what? I had my Max 5 hooked up 11s. When I hooked up my EC5 cable on there, it definitely popped. On the what now? What ESC was it again? Hobby wing Max 5 G3. Oh. Man. Okay, all right. I was just checking. I was, no, I was I was 11, just checking. no, no. The point is that I'm trying to make a point that all ESCs, unless you have an anti-spark connector, make a pop. Mm. That's the point I was trying to make. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Because you was using your hobby wing. <laughs> yeah, in my That's bachelor. Cool. I was using my hobby wing in my outcast, not in my limitless or anything to do with real speed. Yeah. <laughs> Had a great time today. It was efficient. The uh, 800 kV didn't get hot or nothing. The uh, ESC, I wasn't even worried about. wasn't worried about. Right. There it is. You weren't worried about it because it was a hobby wing? or Cause because cause, cause It was a hobby wing. It was geared crazy, and I know I don't have to worry about it. Hobby wing it on only. It only no, nah, just or just overheating or just doing anything weird. You know what I'm saying? Um for what I was doing, the hobby wing was the uh I was bashing, so hobby wing are basher ESCs. It's like a Toyota. You can have a Camry or you can have a Supra. <laughs> you got versatility right there. I, I understand. I understand. You know, but and I, you know yeah. that when you leave a car meet, you can still lay drag and not worry about running out the road, like in the Mustang or you know, some <laughs> other cars. So I, yeah, I get it. I get it. We going hobby wing for the win, yes. Also, That's the hobby mean. wing, the hobby wing just I think it drinks more of the batteries too. I notice I get a little longer play time with the. I'm sorry, the castle burn more batteries, mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. the way I have it set up though, it too maybe you know it gives it really gives you that punch. It really gives you four or five hundred amps if you yeah. ask for it. Castle, uh, I mean hobby wing, I don't know. I don't think we get no five hundred amps out of a, a max nah, five. You ain't even you ain't. on twelve. Well, you don't even know on the on the OG Max Five. You might only be yep. getting like seventy five amps. You know, man. The, hey, the OG Max Five was a killer, man. Run that thing on twelve S. I'm like <laughs> wondering why why people like people trying to get them old Max Fives. They were they a couple hours right now. Huh? But you put a cat pack on the on the old Max Five. If you got the the screen where you can read the votes, mm -hmm. you uh you put your cat back. Let's say you run it about to run twelve S. You hook the 12 s on there, you disconnect it. You let the voters go down, or you wait till you hear the beeps. Come back on. Once you hear the beeps, like it's uh you know ready to run, you plug it back in, you run that thing on 12 s all day. Mm. Definitely can run it on 12 s I seen it so where Hobby Wing asked people to take down on a video that talked about that. Yeah, I seen a few people running. So, the, so yeah, running it's, uh, it's, that might be know. a little experiment. It might be a little, you know, a little experiment. Remember that dude Harry used to come to the shop? If I saw, if I saw him, I probably, I probably remember. 
I mean, he's come up to Adam's shop, so he's always whatever the ESC said. He always ran it over whatever it was. I don't care what it was. You give him a stock red cap receipt. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to run this one eight. S. They said six, and I'm going to try it, and he would come back. It worked. Mm-hmm. He always. Well, for how long was he doing that, that for? I mean, some he won with, some he lost with. You know what I mean? As long as you can keep it cool, it's going to work, Rattle. You change that fan up or have some other ways of, of cooling, yeah, that thing is going to work. I mean, you got to think about it this way, too, right? When you're looking at electric systems, I ain't saying hitting the brakes. All it's doing is regenerating. So it's putting all that power back to the ESC, to the, to the battery, mm-hmm. and a way to kind of keep the batteries, you know, up and also to, you know, activate the brakes. So they always got a threshold to go over. You ever notice sometimes, if you're looking at uh, Castle um, data log, maybe even the Hobby Link, too. You got the brakes set real high. You going like say 65, 70 miles an hour. You got the brakes 100, percent and you jam them brakes. You go back and read that data log right there. You'll see a voltage spike. Yeah. It'll be over mm-hmm. what you started with. So it might be 22 volts you're running, but you might get a voltage spike like 35 volts. Yeah. Well, interesting, 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 interesting. Indeed. So, um. Anybody else have anything good going on this week? Reg, you said you did some running today. Like, what, what you do? Man, I had a great time, man. Went out, um, went out with the group. Um, had the Outcast, had a Losi 5B, had a, um, actually two or three Losi 5Bs, had a gas Losi, mm. uh, cracking whatever the gas four by four cracking is. I think that's the vec, the vector. Vec- yeah, had the vector out there. It was, it was a good time. I got some GoPro video, I'm gonna edit it up. Somebody mm. came through with an electric e-bike, you know. Um, mm. Of course, I had to ask in the race, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be my next short. Uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't help it. They was like, he ain't going to want to race. I said, y'all, he on the e-bike, y'all. He think he fast. Sure enough. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Outcast, Armor, Hobby Wing, you know, mm-hmm. with demolished a $5,000 e-bike. You know, that's all we got. You know, that's all we got. Yeah, yeah, got what you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this. How, how did that cracking do out there? Um, it did good. It looked good. It was in the stock form. It looked a little slow, a little underwhelming. Um, it was gas it, or it was electric? I was gas. Oh, it was slow. Oh yeah, no wonder. It was gas. Yeah. It was going about probably 35, 40. Um, but it looked it looks really good though. It looked good. It had the nice wheels on it. You know what I mean? It, it looked it looked nice. It looked really yeah, nice. Blue and red version. Yeah, blue and red. Yeah, but I know the guy. Yeah. I know the guy that owns it. It's probably gonna be a Taylor motor going on there, going in there, or a Max Four with a five something KV motor that we. Love whoa, 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 whoa. 560. <laughs> Come on, bro. You, them bad words. Them bad words, babe. <laughs> I would not run that motor. Anybody want to run that motor, 800 versus the 560, just let me know, man. Let me know. The 560 is a good motor, but you need at least 16. It's a slow motor. It's a slow motor. You, you got to throw 16. That's through that bad boy, man. Yeah. To get them going to make up. Gap jump back in here. Knock it off. <laughs> oh, he ain't allowed back in. Ain't nobody jumping off, Gap. <laughs> he said he'll jump back in here. He said knock it off. <laughs> but no, the, the, the 560 good motor, my guy running in his um, DBXLE, I'll be honest, that's probably one of the fastest off-road cars I've ever seen. Um, mm. it's, it's, it, it runs. It, it does what it's supposed to do. But at the same time, when I watch him do speed runs, you know, seem to be a little bit of a cap. You know, I'm just mm. gonna throw that out there. You know, mm. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you have to put like a big ass gear. You got to run a big gear on yeah. that motor. They gotta have a gear, a good, a good big. size gear on there too. Big I think old. you need like eighty something twelve bass with the five sixty in the <clears> elite. <throat> now, if that would have been eight or eleven hundred, that probably would have been a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, I think in my, well, I did eighty. I had I put a five sixty in my cave in my in my uh in my five B. I ran that 560. I think I had had to run like a 32 tooth to get 80 miles an hour out that thing. Oh wow. Yep. Yep. And Reg, you you said you saw two five Bs outside today? Oh yeah, it was two five Bs. Yeah, uh one of them one of them had a cage. What is Losi car with a cage? That's a fifth scale. That's Cracking? a five B. No, nah, Losi car. Is that a 5B the car with the exo cage? Exo cage, a Losi. You don't know, that's 5B. You're not 5B, uh, DBXL. You got the original DBXL uh, was out there today. It looks so good, man. I don't know why to me it kind of looked better than the DBXLE. I don't know. 
Oh, he had a gas. Why, just because it's gas. He had, no, it was gas. It was converted to electric, though. It was electric. He had the 560 in there. This is the same guy. Oh, he had the 560 okay. in there, but it just, it just looked, I don't know, it looked a little different. Look, I don't know. He so got the wing on the back of it. Panels off? It don't have no body panels. It's just an open yeah, cage. Yeah. I don't know. That kind of looked dope to me. I was even looking at a, um, somebody looking the for the Creighton, an open cage style body for the Creighton Outcast. Yeah. Plus, I don't have a what's name on it either. I don't have the, uh, the, wheel, the, um, wing. The wing. Mm. No wing on the back. It just look. It looked dope. It don't look like a DVXL. It look like a fifth scale killer. I don't know. It just look crazy. The Smith Master. Gosh, I bet it look <laughs> because it, you, no, 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 not like that. But what I'm oh, saying is, shit. the Smith Master makes a car without with where it's just a cage. It's got oh like yeah, yeah. Yeah, they make the buggy version of that yeah. car. That's yep. all. Yeah, that's all. Not like oh yeah, yeah, no, no, but. Just for visual sakes, you know they got the bit, the buggy of it mm -hmm. um, out there too. I, oh, yeah. heard, I had, a, had no problem with the Smith Masters yet either. I'm waiting to hear somebody no, say they have an issue with it. I have not heard a negative review other uh, than them getting it or some stuff like that. I have not heard nothing negative about that car. Too bad right. they don't they don't uh, have a dealer in the U.S. because that car is definitely Boy, a candidate. Yeah, it'll be moving. Matter of fact, um. Is he in here right now? Matthew Senior? Yeah. He was in here earlier. Hey, y'all, is it a truck called an MT something? It, if y'all get a chance, MTXL? go to uh, Matthew Senior's uh, YouTube channel. He got quite a few running videos of his Smith Master on there, too. So, Gap check that stuff. out. Jumping and gapping cars. It look nice. He got it looking oh, real nice. Dang. What car? The Smith Master. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the um, MT truck I was about some ga old gas truck. It's like a monster truck. MTXL. That, was, that thing was the biggest thing out there. Uh, yeah, it was nice. He had the rear wheel steer, all that kind of stuff. All gas. It was gas. He said he got a Taylor motor. He put like some bigger gears or something. He said in there. That thing was moving. Mm, nice. Very nice. Uh -oh. yeah, I've seen a beast back in the day. Well, it looked like a beast. <clears throat> Yep. I've seen two five Bs in real life. Mm -hmm. One of them was back when the uh 8S Creighton came out. The first V1 8S Creighton came out. So the dude comes out, you know, everybody racing or whatever. When I tell y'all, he was ramming into folks. <laughs> I was amazed at how tough that car was. Mm -hmm. Like his, his now his driving, you know, whatever. Question. But no. Yeah, ooh, yeah, we start calling him Mario Kart. It's like, oh, <laughs> Mario Kart coming out. I'm good. I'm not ready. But the car was tough. It was like it was it was abusing folks out there on that track. And I was like, man, I want one of them. Then I saw it only came as a kit. Yeah, then I didn't want one no more. That's what messed you up. The kit. Yeah, yeah. Because I just got into it good. And I was like, yeah, I want to put a car together. Why I gotta put a car together? What's the purpose of that? They look like they're like, I seen them things roll like sideways, um, like man, 30, 40 feet, just barrel rolling, keeping up, keeping it, you know, mm -hmm. land on its wheels, or they go flip it over, ain't nothing wrong with it, or just replace a wheel or something. Right. Like, right. Well, let me know if you ever need a kit built, you know, send it this way, I'll do it for you. <laughs> no doubt. All right. That would if I now if I find me a um a 5B. Today, I, I'll be quite, quite, quite excited about that. Well, K. Ryan in the building. What's going on? You ain't gonna find one for cheap. They, no, cheap. yeah, I know. They want to the hire for them for sure. I know. All right, Matthew, saying you got got to come in. He said he's been running the Smith Master on twelve S, but the tires balloon, and they've been beat the wheels, beat the wheels apart. Uh, every launch, all I hear is rubbing. Ooh, damn. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder, Matthew Senior, how well with those, um, I don't know the name of them, but they real spiky. The RC Genesis or the uh, BRPs. Um, yeah. What's the, the other one's been having issues lately, though, too. What's the uh, the other spike wheels that people been getting? The orange or black ones? The kills? Yeah, yeah. The kill racings. I've been seeing people having issues with those lately. Those got the green foam on the inside? I don't know what foam it come with. 
I know you could just buy the tires from a kill racing. But I've seen a few a few blown tires on Facebook. I know we blew some tires today. I'm lucky I didn't blow none, but uh some of the fist scale guy, well my DBXLE guy, he blew a blew a couple of tires. Mm -hmm. Bike tires. Uh they on B lock, so I think the tire didn't rip, just the phone came out. So Okay. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be fixable. You was talking about said just order some phone for 20 bucks. Yeah, but Matt, Matt Senior, uh maybe you should try some of them um uh Taylor Genesis wheels. Um, and those might work nice on there. I, I would think you just can't jump with them and you can't go on roll with them. But if you just in the dirt, if you're playing in the dirt, you'll have some you'll have some decent traction for sure. Oh, you say he's waiting on some uh stiffer springs to give him a little more height. Okay, okay. Yeah, that should be dope. Mm -hmm. That should be dope. Can you raise the body a little bit? You said can you? Yeah. yeah. Can you raise? Uh, can you that no, okay. I don't really look at mine in that much detail regarding that, or even trim the body. I mean, I, I would hate to have to trim it, but yeah, you can't trim it. Uh, it I'm it rattle ain't finna put that much work into his car. His car is gonna go around a couple of cones and back in the truck. That's it. If you speed run the Smith Master, I imagine I get a lot of views, man. Go ahead and speed run the Smith Master. <laughs> no, uh, no, sir. You know, you use a hobby wing, use a Max 4. Go ahead. Hey, let me tell y'all something. If I mess around and crash that and break something, and it's gonna be two weeks for parts to come, I really be upset. No, I'm good. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh wait. Matter of fact, that's two weeks plus the cost of shipping. Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that's <laughs> nutty. <laughs> I'm straight. So, 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 your whole fleet, what's your go-to car? Um, oh, one of yeah, one of my seven scales. The okay. infraction I, I just beat up everybody on with. Yo, uh -oh. yeah, where, yo, where's the uh, uh -oh. where's the hardware? Yo, where's the jewelry at? Like, oh, you know, I put it. I, you know, with it being so large, I had to put it in my safe deposit box. Oh, okay. I, I didn't okay. want no issues. I didn't want <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, all right, I got. You. <laughs> I didn't want no mm. issues, but now it's on the shelf. It's up here somewhere. Oh, here you go. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Yo. yeah. Let y'all see that again. You know, the okay. scoliosis ring because it's so heavy. <laughs> you know. Well, y'all see what y'all creating over there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. That's all gap. <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah, you, Super yeah, Dave? Yeah. Super Dave, what's your go to? Uh, my go to is probably going to be either my infraction or felony. One of them. Mm. Okay. My go to just. If I'm gonna grab it off the shelf and gonna do something, I'll probably grab the felony and just street bash the shit out of it. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, Ted. Me, um, my primary how about EPX? Okay, all y'all on road guys. Okay, okay. Game dog, what you got? And I'm on the mini Z track, baby. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, he with the mini 16 scale. 24. 24. 20. Oh, okay. My bad, my bad. Come on, man. Hey, Moose, what you got? What you got? What, what's your what's your uh your um uh, grab and go vehicle out the fleet? I don't know. It's hard to just pick one. Okay. I got an Ooh, idea. Ooh, it's something with a hobby wing in it. Hard. Come on <laughs> out of there with that, Mike. <laughs> all right man but if i if yo if i knew if i if my best all around racing fast as hell gotta be the uh the 12 s creating 8 s mm. that's it or my 5b but something i ain't gonna care about is probably gonna be my creating the, the, the 5b i'm gonna take a little care of you know what i mean mm. For me, for me, mine would be the um be the out the eight S outcast on twelve S or the Gorgon. And the thing I like about them is I can just change the tires to go on road or off road. Oh, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Versatility, versatility. Yeah, versatility. yeah so I always trying to keep some keep keep them foam tires and the uh, off road tires. So for both vehicles too, that way I could just, you know if I want to speed run or I want to you know I'd rather spend the five minutes and just have a dual use. 
That makes so, sense. I, yeah. I got a, I got a question for y'all. I don't know if anybody have experience with this. So I got a beach trip coming up. And I'm like trying to figure out which RC I'm going to take. I think I got it down to the XRT or my DBXLE. But I want to, and I got, um, I got some of them Proline uh, paddles, those, those different paddles they got. What would y'all do to prepare y'all cars for some saltwater beach action? I ain't going to really ride it in the water, but I'm probably going to stay more in the, in the sand. But like, what would y'all do to prepare? Rattle, I know you ain't going on the sand, brother. <laughs> no, no, sir. But that salt would chew up anything metal on that car. Yeah. Hey, yeah, so, bro. so I would put. I'm on. I'm putting grease over everything. Um, mm -hmm. I'm greasing. I'm putting like, you know, marine grease. Not mar some type of like. Uh, what's what's the the grease? Or like WD forty. No, I'm putting some grease. I'm taking like, so you know, I see how that sand gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that that like that diff gear grease, not the internal grease, but the external grease. I'm putting that on the outside of my bearings everywhere, you know, like in the wheel wheel, like in the um C hub. I mean the um, what's it called? In the hubs mm -hmm. to protect all my bearings. Um yeah, I think that's the biggest thing, man. Trying to protect that stand from getting in places you don't want it to get at. And if you like the bottom of your chassis, I wouldn't take a metal chassis car because that paint might is gonna get scraped off. It's mm. like put a sandblaster on the bottom. Mm. It sounds like I need to buy a car that I don't care about and take it. Sound like, sure to, like take your wrestler down there, right? Take all that oh, other stuff off. Put some, nah. put some battles on there, you'll have fun. No, nah, man, take you know what? Take me up your scale. Hold, hold on one second. It's funny that he says wrestler. Let me catch these comments. One second. Not I not say uh put some super spikes on it on the uh on the Smith Master. Mm -hmm. Man Kendricks, what's going on, man? Is in the building. What up? Man Kendricks has a question for you, Ted. And actually, he says, Did them folks holler at you about talking trash about they they lying? <laughs> so I mean it was funny that you just said the the rustler. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> he said folks holler at me about what? When you was talking crazy about last, week, last week, oh yeah. no, you talking about them? No, 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 no. We gotta understand it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm an industry plant. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we good. We good. We good. We good. They, they, they knocked on his door. Was like, we need to talk to you. He was like, no, no, no. My office hours are between the hours of nine and five. Bob, I will say this: I would not take no seventh or eighth scale down there. Or any of the 10 scale stuff. I would definitely, um, unless you got like a, I don't know, if you're a wrestler a car you don't care about. But I think the bigger fifth scale stuff would just be easier to clean to me. Mm -hmm. I never really played in the sand though, but I seen Thanks. the aftermath. Listen, I think no, I played, I played the sand a little bit. A little bit. And I know the motor. Oh, yeah, I would put tape over any hose my motor got. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning like, 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 towards that DBXLE only because I only ran it like twice. And I, I feel like I seen a few videos of that joint running in the sand on people's beaches. And uh that joint look that joint look real fun. Yeah, yeah. It, throw a 560 uh, in there. Motor you don't care about. Oh yeah, yeah. We can throw the 560 in there. Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then put it up for sale. Slightly used, only ran on a Sunday. Yeah, all yep. that kind of good stuff. Make it look real clean. And then somebody, oh my bearings is what happened to these bearings? Like, Oh. Why does it sound like this? Sound like yeah. a box of Tic Tacs in here, some type of way. What's going on? Exactly. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. Let's catch up. All right. We got that. Got that. Got that. Hey, Matthew Senior, put the link to your YouTube channel in here too, so people can can follow your your bill with that Smith Master. Mm -hmm. um, he said he took the bead locks apart and the foam say sand tires. I can believe mm -hmm. it. I can believe it. Um, he said he wrapped the phones with duct tape, yeah, docking okay. stand, uh, throw some tubing in the shocks um, to help with the ride height. Oh, good one. Good one. Um, mm -hmm. Deion Freeman says no sand for him. Oh, Doc is saying use marine grease because uh, it's waterproof. Okay. So they, they go another tip for you, uh, J. Mitch. Um, Sir Thizzle is saying J. Mitch finna take total XRT to the beach. Man, you better take one of them Groms and rip. Yeah. Mm 
and go from there. Uh, Matthew Senior is saying the only thing you can do is totally disassemble it. The salt is in the sand, so it doesn't matter if you get it in the water. Woo. Well, oh, guess that took a crawler. Take a in crawler. that case, WD 40, the whole chassis. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that too. That I think something, man. I, I don't know. I, I got a little bit before I go. I'll see if I can find something, but. Worst come to worst, I'll whatever I take, I'll just be prepared to take it all apart, you know, and, and clean it out when I yeah. get back. But I, I, I really want to get the I really want to see these sand paddles. You know, I want to see these paddles on the sand. You know, I can't be at the beach, you know, for extended time and not not have something on the sand. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. Car that definitely and, and the crawler, the crawler do sound safe. Yo, yeah. the crawler sounds slow as hell, brother. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. I'll be honest with you. you but you it. on vacation though, so you ain't got nothing but time. Nah, I got nothing but speed, <laughs> brother. Hundred miles an hour on the sand. So we going for. Yeah. <laughs> I see Daniel say he took a slash to the beach. Never again. Oh, Ooh. damn. Wrong mm. platform. Yeah. Derrick Jones in the building. What's going on, man? What up, DJ? But yeah, if, if yeah, mm. you, oh, yeah. maybe they got an RC rental place down there. I'll just rent the RC. <laughs> you know I mean? Don't tell them what I'm doing. Like, oh, that, oh, you, it got bad. Yeah, okay. I never drove one of these before. Then be up on my channel. That's not like right. a good business venture, man. <laughs> RC you know what else? in a tourist spot. Uh huh. You know, you know what else I got? Man, do you know how many cars you would come back broke? It don't I, got matter. A, I got a sand paddle for my damn motorcycle. Oh, you finna tear up the motorcycle. Hey. Sand hey. all in the chain, going in the motor. Every time you twist the bike around, there's going to be sand coming out of that. The sand motor. just come out of it. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mm -mm. sand trail down the block. <laughs> that is not what you want. Hey, but I will say I haven't seen none on the sand, so that would be a first, especially if you got yeah. that uh, yeah. tire back there for it. Exactly. Then I could make an ESC blow up while I'm on the sand. Then we get in like 1,500 views the first day. Like there you go. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Derek John said he was on his way to Rock Mart, had to turn around because he forgot his batteries. Boy, that's the worst. Damn. Oh, that shit. is the worst. <laughs> uh, RC Daniel says only took a slash to the beach because I seen Traxxas do it. Hey, oh, y'all yeah, know the question that we was asked as children: If your friends jump off a bridge, you gonna jump off the bridge too? Yeah. Well, uh, uh don't don't do it. <laughs> don't they don't do show it. at the bottom of the bridge. They just show them jumping all smiling. Why <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> having fun? Yeah, <laughs> man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's cool. that is it. Uh, um, but yeah, man, get you a little cheap car, you know, even if you find something used, take that out there like a throwaway. Yeah, I might, I might have something down there. I could just, I'm, oh, I know I got, you know what? I, I got something down there I could take with me. It ain't going to be no fun though. I you wanna, can take the FG. No, nah, I ain't taking but, that. But no. your, the paddle tires ain't going to work though. No, nah, they ain't going to work. Nah. I, I might have some. I, I got that that little. I got that little. Um, they had it on sale again. The little uh, uh, mm -hmm. the little cheap car, the Walmart car. Y'all seen that? With the battery pack on it. Oh, the uh, Vortex. No, the brush Vortex. No, not that one. Hold up, I'll be back. I'll bring it up. Uh, Right, Coach I'm in the building, Coach Monte was cracking. Uh, let's see here. Yep, so if it rocks at a beach, makes for a great video. Wish I would have had or brought one with me. What are you talking about? A crawler, yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, all right, then feel free. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think I'm out of that dri driving my car on the beach in the salt and then nah, I'm good. Why? Wow. That all that stuff get in the motor and everything. That's 
electronics, servos, screws, gearing, right. diffs, bearings. That's a whole new. Just put your car in water when you get home. <laughs> right. Just submerge it in soap and water. The little heart, the little heart joint. Y'all seen this joint? It was like twenty five dollars this week. Oh yeah, you put the uh, the twenty eight volt, the uh, seventeen volt batteries in there. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, drill batteries. I done converted my joint to brushless. Somebody, yeah. somebody asked this question. Somebody was like, "Anybody convert one of these to brushless yet?" I think it was like on Reddit or something. And oh wow, that's funny, bro. I converted I my joint, converted my joint to brushless, and I put the armor shocks on it. Got a little uh, cheap servo in there. And it's 3S capable. This drone could go to the beach. I thought that was a scam, bro. I only seen that kind of commercials. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Oh, that drone was this drone was like it was like $50 for Christmas or something. Like I said, let me go ahead and get it. Then um, I think this system came out of like a some kind of but a motor came out of my uh my motorcycle, and it's like a cheap, like little 3S hobby wing ESC. Got a set of cheap armor shocks, and the rest is history. Right. Yeah, but she could go. But this ain't the one I want to take. I'll take it though. She could yeah. be sacrificial land, then give it away to a subscriber. There you go. Hey, you know what? That might be a good idea right there. I'll be like, meet me at the beach. Whoever get here first, they got it. Right, <laughs> right. That'll be their collector's item. Mm hmm. Yeah, this was just a board, John. I was just bored and did that. Mm. But now nah, I want to take the fifth scale. I ain't lying. I'm lying. I'm gonna take the fifth scale. I don't care. <laughs> take the fifth scale, brother. You We're gonna, gonna take that the five B. Out, you said what? Gonna take the five B. No, hell no. <laughs> yeah, hell no. Hell no. All uh, right, let me find yo. I've been seeing some 350 crate NAS like rollers. Yeah. Like, go ahead, let, let, let one pop up in the next month or so. That could happen. Yeah. That could uh -uh. happen. And what's crazy, I don't understand why they're so cheap now. Well, you know, when them EXBs. The V1 EXBs, they was down to 400 as a roller. Mm. So most of the ones that's going on sale is like V1s. You don't see a lot of the V2 crate NAS has come up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I haven't seen some RTRs like 500. I've seen them. They're around. Wow. they definitely I'm around. Or why is that? People ain't got no money. And people want some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It seems like everything in the resale market cheap. I know mm -hmm. cars going for the low, real cars. So yeah. I know when real cars start going for the low, that means everything else falling right in line. But I will say this when it comes to real cars, you got to keep in mind. Remember, at one point, if your car was worth five thousand for real in real life, you could sell it for eight or nine. Mm -hmm. That was a year and a half, two years ago, if that far. So now they the them prices are starting to fall back to normal. I saw just being got, like super cheap. It's over. If you got a new dealerships, like especially like I'm a Mopar guy. So if you go to a Mopar lot, you got stock from 2021, 2022 still sitting there. Damn. Ford, it's Toyota, it's all them different um brands. I think a few of the other brands didn't go up like that during the 2020, 2021 <laughs> time. The ones <laughs> that did, yeah, they got this, they stuck with inventory. Yeah, if you, you, you get a C8 Corvette for cheap nowadays too. Yeah, yeah everywhere They're giving them away. You can get a Kia for free. I don't know about all that, but yeah, I hear you, Miss Stoney guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a group of boys that will help you get it with hey. no problem. Hey, I'm 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 down here in Milwaukee. They definitely don't call them the Kia boys for nothing, man. <laughs> all you need is a USB cord. And I ain't promoting it, but that's all you need. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Ted <laughs> gonna get us in more shit than a little bit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me catch these comments. All right, Doc saying build you a sand drag, uh, J Mitch. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, sir, this said you're gonna make a Karen mad as hell out there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a day volleyball game or they suntan <laughs> session. <laughs> <laughs> CJ in the building was cracking, was cracking. Uh, uh, Coach Monte said he asked last week. I decided on the A scale, oh, A scale infraction for the first car. Hey, you can't go wrong with that. That's not a bad move. A scale infraction, that's the plastic, John. Yeah. Yeah. It, it definitely, it def- you could definitely get it to like 70, 80 without trying. Yeah. You, you you definitely could. A little 20, you know, throw the 26 uh, pinion on there. Yeah. You'll be at like 70. Cut the back wing. The car will flip. It's going to do donuts on you at the end of the speed. Cut the back wing. You got to on that car. You got yeah, to. Yeah, trim that down. Yeah, definitely trim that down. Definitely trim that down. Yeah, but you you can't go wrong with that one. Um, That's a good one. Hands yeah. down, it's a good one. A good one. Uh, Man, Kendrick says a USB cord and a quarter. <laughs> Man. When I had my Optima, I started up with a quarter. Hey, there it is. Mm. Look, I'm just saying. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, these thoughts and views do not, you know, right? <laughs> right. Hey, 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 it, it got so bad. Have your know. best interest in mind. None of us are professionals. <laughs> None of us is uh, is telling on anything about it about themselves. Now, this is views <laughs> for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> we are an RC panel discussing RC topics and techniques on how to make your RC car perform better. Exactly. Look, this is when you start just read the disclaimer. Somebody exactly. one of them voices. <laughs> You're not responsible for any shenanigans that you perform on your own. Blah blah blah. blah. Don't fool with those that advice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Read like 10 sentences in like eight seconds, real quick. Yeah, oh, right. you need to have the screen just like scrolling the whole way. Like, you had every disclaimer on there and have to scroll up real quick. I gave information, I don't know if you read it or not, but it's there. Man, I'll, I'll be like, get me on the stand. I'll be like, did I specifically tell you to do that? Shit? No, right? I did that shit. So, you ain't had to do that. Shit. Yeah, you know what I mean, plus, you know, getting free stuff is hazardous to can be hazardous to your health. Because, mm-hmm. but these days. Okay, asking no questions. They letting them things just fly. Bye bye. It, it was a guy. So it was a guy. It got so bad here in Milwaukee. Um, the Kia boys. It was a guy. Um, uh, he got a, he got arrested. He was going around. You got your car stolen. You call him. He was retrieving a lot of cars. Mm-hmm. He was riding around at night. Um, with his in his Escalade truck, I think, or Yukon or something. Um, retrieving cars. With force sometime and uh yeah it was interesting he got arrested thought he's the police out here damn yeah it's in the nose but why did he get arrested he, 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 he was, was, he was a civilian he was, a he was a civilian riding around with the with the gun at times threatening people bumping cars to get people their cars back you can't go mm. and put the law in your own hands you know what i'm saying uh. especially in a big city like this he didn't own the cars he had permission you know to retrieve it but uh but yeah so oh so somebody hey man my car got stolen go get it for me and he, he had a nice little, he had a nice little business for a while because them cars be all over on the side of the road you just find on a random damn and walk you can find a kid just sitting somewhere either crashed or you know just idle with the window busted out from you know when they hopped out from the police or whatever they did you know what I mean right. ran out of yeah. gas or whatever Jeez. they hop out of, they'll hop out of one and go right to another one you know it's it's crazy imagine waking up to where your car was at to find another stolen car sitting there. Damn! Oh, good grief! Yeah, it was it was it was crazy out here. Wow! You know that guy? I think his name Tommy G. He did that big video um on the on the um Kia boys here in Milwaukee, and mm. uh you know and that 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 video got like the possibly double digit million views. Man, that was crazy last year. That was real wow. crazy. They caught all them boys in the video too. I don't know why people go and like get interviewed by these by these people, bro. It don't make no sense. Right. All of them got caught, and they was all like under eighteen. It was ridiculous. They do anything for clout. Mm-hmm. But yeah. mask, mask on <laughs> every. Mm mm. Mm mm. And then you do it on your block that you actually own, like instead of like you know, <laughs> as you move to another location, you like right in front of your crib. Mm-hmm. Thir- Thirteen seventy five Brown Street. You right in the <laughs> right on the <laughs> 
Brown <laughs> Street sound like a block on the low end. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that address. Huh. That's Man. Crazy. That's just stay away from 1365 Wichita Drive. Just don't go over there. Exactly. I don't know what they, I, they don't right. people just don't be thinking, they just don't care. Like, they just don't give a fuck. They don't think about this stuff before they do it. Yeah, I, I think the penalty not that big. You still a car like in some of these other places. I think it's like the slap on the wrist for a minute, you know what I'm saying? And like you said, they under 18, they're under 18. And yeah, it's all yeah. it's all teenagers doing this. You getting yeah. mad at high school. I mean, you you real life mad at high schoolers and preteens, you know what I mean? That's that's who out here, you know, doing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then don't let the owner find them and shoot them while they're taking it. Then it's an outcry. You know yeah, I mean? South Central. Yep. He's a baby. He just he ain't no, no these kids don't have nothing positive to do at the dark. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> in, in Milwaukee, like, they OG Bobby Johnson, son. Yeah. They ain't going. These kids yeah. need things to do. Like, like some, somebody told them to steal cars. So no. Oh, wow. Give them twenty dollars on the car radios. Exactly. Man, Kendra said he kept his car parked in the backyard so that if you stole the car, you got to steal his pit. <laughs> Woo, buddy. Hey. Free dog. Just free dog. Just got to, you know, free what? car. Just got to get the dog. There you go. <laughs> Yo, wasn't it like a car dealership selling the car with like the club with it? Like, wasn't that something that was happening recently? They sell, they sell you the car and they give you a club. To go with the car, like they ain't stopping nobody. I ain't yeah, in the, in, the, in, the club. in the high, in the high, uh, in those high Kia boy areas, yeah, that mm -hmm. was definitely um trying to give incentives. I think they've had some government programs. If you own this car or Kia put out something, you own this car, get your club or you know whatever little BS. But, the uh, alarm system in a different copy store. Yeah, that's that's, that's crazy. I was doing I was doing installation for them. I ended up start doing fuel cuts in them too, so that way now if you got in, if you know what a fuel cut was, you wasn't starting that car. Mm. Sheesh. Just like they still in the uh, Dodgers, you know. Um, that people find out where the neutral release is at, you know, pop up wherever you got to pop up is right there. A couple of snaps, they push you right down the street. Push but you know, that's been that that's been from 2005. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, nah, still in your hundred thousand dollar car, just popping the window. And just lifting up, you know what I'm saying? Unsnapping, mm -hmm. you know, the center stuff. And five, two seconds later, I'm right there. You know, just could fully just push your car wherever I want to. That won't make no sense to me. I forgot you, a lot more you can buy for it, but it's still like you shouldn't have to do that. Man, the lock don't even matter because you sit there long. You know, a lot of times when they're taking these cars, they be having time. You already behind yo, you got blacked out tent, you got a thief in there. He got as much time and opportunity as he need. He in the dark. Man, that little panel don't do nothing. I seen them panels where they Take their screwdriver and do what they do, you know. Bend it right up. Yeah. So let me catch the rest of these comments. Cause now somebody's gonna watch this and be like, man, they taught me how to get stuff. <laughs> 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 but we are not. We just saying everybody has been through some shenanigans in their life. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're gonna buy a kid, make sure they throw the club in for free. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy the cheap one, man. Get get the better ones. The, the, the higher dollar ones, I think, don't have that system like that. Man, mm. uh, uh oh, he said, yeah, they did start. Man, Kim just said they did start giving out free clubs. That he get, he got one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had that government program with the aldermans, whatever. You, so you say, hey, remember back in the day, you used to cut the steering wheel like. You just cut the steering wheel down the middle, just pull that drone right out. Like, leave yeah. that drone sitting there. C couple of seconds with the, with the, with the little jigs on. The hacksaw. Yeah, so so hacks you know I mean, you in there. I used to have this bootleg club. It had a blinking red light on the back. So it looked like it had an alarm on that drone. Oh, well, I ain't never <laughs> seen one of them, bro. <laughs> it was a fake club. It was like a little heavier duty, and it had like a little red blinking LED on that drone. I ain't never going to forget that. I had that in my Honda. Oh, wow. Crazy. <laughs> You ever seen the little LED lights, the fake alarm lights they started selling? Oh, stuff? yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, right. too. Mm. And if they want your car, they're going to get it. But yeah, go ahead and take it. So I got to make no more car note payments. I'm good. Take it. 
Man, imagine somebody just take your car just to go away. Anyway, we, we going somewhere else with this, but, but yeah, man, that's dumb. Man. That's <laughs> RCs, guys, so. <laughs> oh, let me catch these. Let me catch these comments. All right, so Matthew right, so. says in Chicago they was giving out. The, oh, you can get the free club from the Alderman office. Hey, wow. Start so Thizzle say yeah, they was doing the same thing. Hand line the police was giving them out to uh, Kia owners. Uh, Coach Monte says they tried to steal my scat. The kill switch and neutral lock stopped them before the Mister CZP10 did. Nice. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mister mm -hmm. CZ. Okay. Hey, Matthew Senior said, don't even try to get insurance for it. Yeah, that, uh-uh. You'll come out better. Go, just go and get you a Ferrari or something. That's go crazy. get your insurance on that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, y'all, what, what's y'all's next bill? What's, what's y'all's next project? Well, Jay Mitch, we know what you're working on. Something for the beach. I, I, I'm working on, I got to work on putting this Limitless back together. Got to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, I got some stuff I need to put in my habal to get, you know, my dual motor habal. Got to get that running. I got a couple hop ups for my uh, SR10, my SR7, I'm sorry, my SR7. Uh, so I got to install them. I got the uh, steering aluminum rack and I had to replace a, a wheel hex on the back. Um, what else I got down there? Uh, just a whole lot of little odds and ends, man. That $70 vinyl kit came from my fg that was dumb i ain't mean, got to deal with that mm -hmm. and uh in, be, in between time you know really i'm just i'm focusing on getting <clears throat> speed runs while, while while i can because you know after july well july and august is hard for me to do anything on on mm. the run side of the game so i'm trying to maximize my time with speed runs right now so that's what's what i'm up to all right, all right. Game dog, what you got working on next? Man, I want to make me a custom low rider truck, man. It's gonna mm. cost me though, but I'm gonna build it about a month or so from now. Nice. Mm. What kind saying, of you see you seen that they had them low riders on sale on for Red Cat? What day was that? The seventh? Did you get one of them? It was like the green John. No, I didn't. Yeah, but I'm gonna use like yeah. a, a red cat, the uh, right. you know, like they chassis for they low rider, but then I'm gonna use one of them RC four wheel drive hard bodies mm. for, the, for the truck, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, they uh, red cat, right, they man. month of uh, like savings, the black Monte Carlo go so on sale on the 21st. Stuff. So if y'all want to know what my project is, that's what it is. On the 21st, I'll be purchasing the black, red, <laughs> low rider Monte Carlo. Mm -hmm. I'm put it on some 26 inch Danes. That's my shelf queen that I'm building. And I'm uh, chrome it out, trick it out, and super David. Yeah, that's That'd my low dope. rider. I got some music that I'm putting in it and everything, game dog. I'm going game dog style. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That'd be dope. So Ted, what you got working? What you working on next? Um, I put my FG back together finally. I just put that together, so I got to put the motor system and stuff back in there. Um, I got this quiet motor Fortec I'm working on. Uh, I just want to get out and get the cars that I put together already. You know, out in the road and run. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to bring my nine seventeen out. Um, you know, the the dual motor one I got. Get my mini B back out there. Get my uh, limitless back out. Or my fraction back out. Nice, nice, nice. Reg, what you got working on? Or what you working on? Um, man, really nothing. I'm trying to, I kind of been venturing into some other stuff. I'm kind of getting into the electric, uh, same concept, ESC motor, you know, all that kind of stuff. But like, I'm, I'm thinking about building like an electric go kart or mm. mini bike, e bike, or something, you know, um, yeah. get my hands into the bigger motors, you know, the bigger speed controllers and stuff, see what that do, right. All right, that'll be dope. That'll be dope. I'm just, I'm just trying to get to a hundred. <laughs> man, you are gonna hit that in a few days, and then you gonna you gonna be bored. So make that bar a little higher, man. I'm telling you, man, you have a killer motor in there. That motor has done yeah. numbers. Right. Well, I mean, you know, we 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 gonna see once I get it's to the If you driving around, yeah. you driving around with a Hellcat. Come on, you ain't never hit a hundred. It was like, come on, he ain't never broke the tires in this thing. Like, come on, man. Hey, but it's all good though. <laughs> it, it just put it on parade route and look at me. Okay, and keep going. 
Cause boy, hey, I'm, I'm gonna just say this: like back in the days, like street racing, like street racing, it's upstairs. Yeah. If you uh if you got caught street racing, you might get some community service, sure. pay a little ticket, you know, you keep it pushing. Nowadays, they suspending your license out the gate a minimum of six months, Damn. and you might do 30 days in jail. Man, I got a crazy spectating ticket for watching some racing. So yeah, yes, I, sir. I, yep. It was crazy, man. They gave me a they should spend your license for spectating out here now. I'm yep. Like, yep. Tell you, like, man, I'm yeah. better off hopping in the pit. <laughs> yep, yeah. and it ain't worth it. It is not worth it. I sit my little self right on over there in, in the slow lane and cruise. <laughs> I don't want no shenanigans. Mm. Uh, but now I'm also working on my uh, my roving rally too. I, I want to make that. Um, I got some spring some springs coming for it. The roving springs to make it stiff, so it, it ain't as wobbly. Hopefully that'll work. That'll mm. work. Um, and let's go from there. We're gonna see what's popping. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm like, um, I, I kind of want another RR5. That's kind of what I'm kind of looking for. I think mm. I might want to get an RR5 Max Pro or just a normal RR5. I just I, I didn't spend a lot of time with my ultimate man. I just saw I saw the money playing that. Now I want one I could you know have fun with. So yeah, I don't want to get the roving one. If I get the roving one, I might as well get the the real one. You know yeah. Right? But I've been seeing that the, the, the MCDs go up for sale a lot. You know lately, so I'm hoping I can snag one of them before the fall. Mm, that'll be dope. Yeah, that'll be dope. Steal one because you be catching deals, like you be catching. Oh, you right, I'll be waiting. Like, I got the patience for it. it. Like, sometimes stuff on me, but sometimes I got the patience for it. I'll just wait it out, man. Man, you be finding the guy that needed exactly $200 to like change his life, and like oh, you be coming God. up. <laughs> You right, about right. That. You're right about that, but oh. I ain't the only one. Gap be finding them too. I ain't, I never seen nobody get an eighty dollar Italian uh, that they want seven hundred dollars for after they you know. Hook I'm about to tell you the secret. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but yeah, man. Like, there's some deals out there because it's a lot. It, I think right now. People, it's, pe it's people that have been in this hobby who probably ain't touched their RCs in about a year. Mm -hmm. And I think we all know people like that. Then I think if you just went over their house, you know, trying to attend a barbecue or something, you'd be like, damn, you still got that, that tie in over there with you? You know, you still got that typhon? I don't even right. play anymore. I got a little $200 bill for you. All right. I ain't doing nothing with it anyway. Because it's death. Man, I'm exactly. not I be trying that with my little brother. He got that twenty four hundred KV. I want over there. He got a whole limitless bill XLX mm -hmm. twenty four hundred. I think he did like one twenty something with the car and just kind of you know was chilling. Never crashed it. Mm -hmm. man, he he won't he won't he won't budge, man. He won't budge. He want what he want. Mm. He won't budge. Man, he turn the came up. Huh? No good. No what, Ted? You got it. No, I was saying my man Turtle came up with some stuff for cheap too. Like he got a super buy high rate for hundred dollars. He got a uh, limitless for like one twenty five. He got a felony for like one hundred and thirty bucks. Oh wow! Mm. And he got an Outcast ES for two hundred dollars. Wow! Now I will say this on the super buy high rate, I could see them going for super cheap because if you're not driving them in the right space, it rolls so easy. Mm. That's a frustrating car if you're not doing right with it. If you ain't driving it the right way, you right about that. Yeah. So a person a get it, and it ain't like you can take it back to the hobby store and be like, you know what, it's not a good fit for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back to you. You go ahead and get my money back. That that ain't their policy. No. Once you take this home and you pop them seals, it's yours forever. That's it. They hoping you pop the seal. They looking. Yeah. You go ahead and try to return one with the seals pop. They can be like, man, you open this. Like, yeah, I just opened right. it. Nah, we can't take it back, brother. 
yeah sorry sucks to be you yeah man you want to take that up with a, a horizon you got to hit horizon up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right let's catch these uh man kendra says i'm gonna build my bank account so i can be like y'all when i grow up hey that these rcs don't help the bank account at all <laughs> not at all they, they into productive this will put you on sandwich duty for a while this, what do you know. say sandwiches yeah, ramen noodles. That's it. That it had you being real creative with your ramen noodle recipes. Mm. Uh, Derrick Jones says he getting the Willie Bar for the five T, so he can uh, tune it for drag racing. That'll be dope. Yeah, what's that bebop? That bebop Willie Bar is that what people using? That Jones is all right. That's the uh, who makes that? Um, top level make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was it's on their the website world. today, man. Three hundred dollars, man. I almost pulled the trigger, but man, three hundred dollars. Hey, that might cost more than my tires. Looking at it though, hey, that FG that I posted in our group chat that's whose uh FG that was, uh, Reg Lewis from Top Level. Yeah, oh. okay, yeah, yeah, that was on the road. Like yeah, they were doing that. Yeah, that's that was Lewis. That's his uh FG. Yeah, that was nice. The Willy bars look nice, man. They look nice, but yeah, I'm probably. I went to the store today. Luckily, the metal was only two inches wide. I needed to go a little, need to be two and a half inches. I was gonna mm. just give me something and put it on there, you know, because it's gonna break <laughs> anyway. It's gonna like where I'm going, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be broken, repaired at least one or two times in his lifetime. Yeah, there it is. Uh let's see here. Okay, Matthew Senior says, I used to build the hydro hopper plastic models in high school. And just don't have the fever uh to get a red cat low rider. Oh, I see what you're saying on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, those was nice. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, if you've been building them forever, buying that the red cat version is lackluster. Mm. I get that. I wouldn't say the red cat version is lackluster compared to those. I Man, that technology was so like different back then. I bought a car that was like 700 bucks. You put it together with servos and all these motors and stuff. It was controlled with like sp strings on the inside. It was like it was weird. It was it wasn't like with the, the strong direct drive motors and servos that it is today. Mm. But the detail was nice. They had cars with a pickup truck bed come all off, twist and swivel. You know, and you, all have, you have the dancing beds. They have the like mm. dope paint jobs. They have the little little people, little hopper people. They used to call them whatever. It was it was really dope. I was into it. You know. But um, having the car to actually drive, their cars didn't drive. That was the big difference. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying on that. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, man, Ken just talking to you, Reg. He said he saw an RC go kart today. Man, see, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to, you know, I'm on the that fifth scale, John. Fifth scale go kart. A fifth scale, not probably a full size. Full size. Oh, okay. Because, yeah. matter of fact, I've been coming across a lot of videos where jokers are making their real cars, remote control, radio control cars. Um, somebody had a, a Crown Vic on the oval track. The, the if, it, if, it's who I, if it's who I think you're talking about, uh, was it the Cletus McFarland dude? If it was, that was the same guy that did the Armageddon thing a few years ago. Uh, I think they McFarland. Hooked, yeah, they hooked, them, they hooked the car with the servos and all that stuff, and yeah, it made it remote control. He yeah, always had one back in the day too. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was a dope episode. Yeah, he ended up crashing it into the wall, but that joker was moving though. It was moving. Yeah, uh, I'm good on that because good. if something goes wrong, he has a lot of liability right there. A lot of liability, yeah. And that was a big V8, crazy tank of yeah, a car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was moving. But I mean, he, the good part is he was on a, on in a controlled situation on the actual track. Yeah. So and he owned the track. If it's the guy who we talking about. Oh, why well, even better? So yeah, he went. It's a win win. Mm -hmm. A win is a win. He he ain't pressed. Uh, Wu Diddy in the building. What's going on, Wu Diddy? Thanks for popping in here. We appreciate you. Oh yeah, uh, J Mitch man, can't you say it was a full size? So a full size go kart. That's pretty dope. Oh, that's yeah, that's pretty dope. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, man. It's just though, like, um, there's just a lot of people who got a lot of stuff they ain't using right now. 
So it's real easy to get some stuff. But also, I think people think they can get what they pay for the RC. Yes. Like people don't factor in like uh you know how how much fun did you have with it? You paid seven hundred dollars for it, you probably got eight hundred dollars worth of fun out of it. So now you should be selling it, you know, to reflect your amount of fun. You know what I mean? Right. So people don't do that. People be like, I paid seven hundred for it. I gotta get at least seven hundred back for it. Like nah, right. not happening, brother. You know, mm-hmm. gotta go like three fifty on it or or four. It depends on what's in it. Mm-hmm. But but people is kind of stuck with stuff because they can't move it. And then there's other people who think everything is a deal. Like some stuff is just price fair. You yeah. Know? So some some stuff is price fair. And my thing is too like a lot of people. I, I might be personalizing it to myself, but uh, a lot of people think because um you got a deal that they should get a deal too sorry mm. <laughs> sorry you don't right. get a deal i'll work with you but it's like people are like i give you 300 all right based off what, <laughs> what i got all let right, me well, ask you this jay mitch mm-hmm. if rattle can't say he wanted i mean if gap said he wanted 425 for that italian i think it's I don't know. I think it's worth that much, maybe eighty, a hundred dollars less. But I think it's worth that much. I think we'd be in the range. I negotiate. Oh, okay, okay. But I would negotiate based off of what's in it. You know what okay. I mean? I wouldn't negotiate just because I'm like, yo, like I only want to pay two hundred. Now, no, I'm talking about you know he got it for seventy though. Yeah. If it's oh. if he got a castle in it and all that, yeah, I'm, I'm we going we going we going. To, you got to make money. I understand people got to make money. Plus, it don't matter what I got it for. Exactly. Because, yeah. I mean, when, when you go into Publix, mm-hmm. right, and you finna buy you some spaghetti sauce, you don't be like, man, you know what? I it know y'all is. got the spaghetti sauce for a dollar. I only want to give y'all a dollar fifty. It's a, okay. If it's a $4.99 on that jar, you, you either it. gonna pay it or you not. And you might have a little coupon. Right. Might have a little coupon to save some money. You know, but, I got one for you. But, but how about if you know the person is real meticulous with their cars, right? You know, everything's pristine. And even though they might have had fun with it, but mm-hmm. the car is going over and it's a rider. Like, if it's a turnkey, you know you're going to put it down. It's going to do everything you ever ask it to do and, ever, and, then, some, and then some more. Mm-hmm. That's got to stand for something, too, because now I can go buy something yeah. brand new that don't run like that. That's fact. true. That's a that's fact. True. Yeah. yeah. If, we talk yeah. About after, if we talk about aftermarket, hopped up, upgraded stuff, that's different. But we talking about if if it's got to be a fair price for what it is, based off of what we're mm-hmm. looking at, it's a fair price. I don't, I don't care about nothing else. I, if I pay fifty dollars for it and I try to sell it to you for five hundred, you gotta look at it like, damn, how much can I get it for new? What's the condition it's in, and can I get the same thing for new for the same price? You cannot. Mm-hmm. It's like buying a car for Coco. You know them joints gonna be like mint condition. Get it off him. You know, don't play. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know. I ain't trying to be like the certified pre-owned scam artist, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean, like, and with this car, you get intermittent windshield wipers. Like, like, mm. what's to say? I got a, I bought a, I got a Limitless. It got a Steve New in it. It got an XLX2 in it. Let's just say I paid three hundred for it, but it's in brand new condition. How much should I be selling that car for? You got a Steve New? It, yep, and the car is in brand new condition. Seven fifty, eight hundred. It got to be up there, bro. But somebody gonna be like, "Well, I know you only paid three hundred for it, so I should only pay you four hundred for it." No, you Man, go some build people, one. Some you people build don't one. even know where to get that motor from. They don't even know the first Man. place to go to Man. actually get their hands on a motor without paying, you know, a five seven hundred dollars. Exactly. Like it's an art to this, man. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's an art to it, but you. I feel like you got to be fair, and if you want to move it, you price it. Adjust, you, you price it accordingly, but you can't be mad because you can't come up off of what I got. You know what I mean? Like, nah. And it's gonna be times I'm gonna give it away too. I'm tired of looking at it. Yo, I'm tired of tripping over this slash, two hundred. Like, uh, perfect example that um, that car I hated. What I tell y'all that car I hated last year, the Vendetta. 
Yeah, I let that motherfucker go for 200 so quick with a 3S combo on it. I didn't give a fuck. But I had, I went through the car. I had the upgraded uh, hot racing diffs in it. I had a lot of money in that car. Me and Ted did some shit to the car. 17 millimeter hexes. We did so much, so much stuff to that car. Man, I'm tired looking at it. You got it. I ain't want it no more. Mm. There it is. I'm about to get rid of mine too. I got a 6S system in it. Yeah. You want to sell it with the 6S system? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just gonna go. It's definitely it's gonna gone. go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, especially um, people, people found the sauce to get them to like 130, 140 easy. They right. get numbers with them things. I'm right. Like, I want to know what y'all did. Why? Hey, you did too much. Let's just say that. Yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> I, did I think at one point, I think at one point I had an MMX that's in there with a TP. Like I was oh, wilding wow. out with that, John. Yeah, you did. You did too much. I did way too much, but it, I didn't have a lot of run on the car. It's just every time I ran the car, if I told it to go left, it would go right. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, if I'm just, if, if you know, if, if if I put a wet at the front, the shit still backflip. You know what I mean? Like, it was just dumb. I just couldn't get that body, that car to do nothing I wanted it to do, man. Mm. That's tough. Did you, hey, did you, we, we got to go, go Go ahead, Jay. Uh, Reg, go ahead. I was just going to say, did you crash in the beginning? The uh, vortex, you mean the uh, I mean the vendetta, vendetta? yeah. Nah, I never crashed it, yeah. You I know I, what I, I did it. crash the hell out of and went crazy. That Typhon 3S, I crashed that joint, rebuilt it, ain't had no problem with it, yeah. That's mm. the, that's a piece of a car. That's a that's I think that should be everybody's first car, bro. Like that is the car Typhon. right there, Typhon 3S. <laughs> I, I think they might still be on sale for like two and some change, two, yeah. Six, nine, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. two fathers there. I think there you go. Uh, RC Dan, you got a question for you, Jay Mitch. She said, I need your help. I'm running the Hobby Wayne 2250 KV 16 2 pinion and an armor EXB Creighton 6S. He's running on 4S. The bottom of the chassis is hot, the way he can't hold his hand on it. What? And he was told to install a 13 2 pinion. You run it at 4S and it's still hot. What? You got to clean them big. <laughs> That's, that sounds crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. so you run it only you only run it on 4S and it's hot. With batteries though. What batteries though? That creates yeah. a lot of heat, but you got batteries that can't produce. Yeah. yeah, low milliamp batteries. A lot of people be having a low milliamps. I was out there to God today. He had that uh some fifth scale low, see that blue one with the with the wheels in the back. Well, it's almost a fifth scale. This the uh seven oh, super Baja Ray. Yeah, he had that out there. He had four thousand milliamp batteries in there. I was like, "Bro, what are you like? <laughs> what are you doing?" Yeah, he ain't got no runtime, but them jokers, good. Man. Yeah, RC Danny, what batteries you running? And what's the mesh like? Yeah, on your gearing mesh. Yeah, that make a difference. And where your temp gun at too? We need we. I, I you know people are talking about feel hot, this hot. I, I don't really care yeah, about also how what kind of timing you run into when in, in the motor in ESC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a sensor? Is it a sensor motor with an uh, implant that you can uh, adjust the timing? Yeah, what ESC? We say Hobby Wing. You say Hobby Wing twenty two fifty. Mm hmm. Is that the new one? Have a, he's an HRB fifty. Oh, HRB fifty two hundred. Uh, Seven point four volts, two S. I think they'll do it. They 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 solid batteries. I like HRB. You don't yeah. get a lot of runtime, but they'll definitely do it. I'm running 20C. I, I'll mm -hmm. say at least a minimum of 5,000. So he right there, he running the right batteries. Mm -hmm. That sounds weird, man. Yeah. I wanna, did, did you ever run that motor hard where it got hot? Like the bearings can need some, some juice in them. Like it's, it's, it, it could be some variables. What kind of connectors you got? That's another thing. Disconnect the pain and make sure the car rolls smooth. Yeah, and then um, oh yeah, and, and I will say this: you running on four S. That tells me you was running on six S at one time. Did you overheat that motor and possibly kill it? Mm. And if you did that, go ahead and ask Hobby Wing for a warranty replacement. <laughs> 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 Yeah, RC then y'all. I, I I can't help you, but it, like you got a lot of good suggestions. Check your mesh, uh, check your gearing, uh, check your battery connectors. Um, 
And what did he say? What ESC you running? Mm-mm. I don't want to assume. And then are we talking about the a newer model hobby wing? I'm assuming. The, I'm assuming you talking about the uh, newer 2250 kV motor. I haven't heard nobody had no problems with that motor. And, and that in 16 that's 16 tooth. That should be plenty. That that you should be right in there good range with that. Hey, how is his uh how his motor connections? How the motor connection? Are they yep. good soldered connections? Are they loose or what? That mm-hmm. also cause a lot of heat too. Y'all left that one out. Oh, yeah, it's one variable we left out too, y'all. If this man grabbed the remote and just full throttle, full throttle and no chill, that's that too. That definitely that's can make the, the motor get hot in three to five minutes. <laughs> Super fast. Don't nobody say nothing about no damn fans. I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, 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 Jay Mitch. It was 80 degrees today, Jay Mitch. Oh, cool. He it's, says it's the a, easy run combo. It's in the picture. It's in the picture. I had I had a big 40 millimeter fan on there, man. Oh, I'm disgusted. I own the fan. I don't own no fans, man. <laughs> I, they sent me fans. I threw them out. Like, oh, yeah, he's got a problem with fan. He band aids, man. Anti fan, man. No, no, man, no, we're band aids, man. We let that believe just bleed. Exactly. It's not bleeding by itself. <laughs> man. Look, y'all super glue y'all cuts back together. Just super oh, yeah. glue cut. Hey, if you out, if you nah, out man, bashing, I, I, you have if you out bashing, having fun, you better super glue that mug. Keep the party going. Go, go to the hospital later. Man. <laughs> no, I drink the blood, man. Keep my nutrients in my body. <laughs> hey, hey, but you said he got a combo or what combo? Easy run combo. Oh man, that might be the problem. The easy, hold on, the max a max combo, right? It's not a BL combo. It's no, easy run combo. does has the max. Is a max ESC. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. That sounds. I got crazy. that same combo. I haven't had an issue. So that's with it. yeah, that's what I'm saying, then, right? Yeah, they sense that's it. You the running a sensor? Run oh, combo. that could be another. Are that's you running a sensor? RC Dan, you running the sensor? And if you running the sensor, did you re- have to reverse the throttle or did you just switch uh the ports? Because if you're running the sensor, you gotta you gotta leave the battery. Or do you have a wireless battery? Right. A, right. gotta go to A, B gotta go to B, C has to go to C when you have using a sensor wire. A has to go reverse to it on the ESC I mean, and on the radio. A B C. Yeah. And yeah. recalibrate. That's another thing. Hey, that's a good question. I didn't think about the sensor. A lot of variables. A lot of variables, man. But we do know yeah. one thing for 4S with that pinion gear, um, you should not be getting that hot. It should be a fun 50, 45, 50 miles an hour. Well, no, that's 16, a 55, 65 miles an hour. Have it fun on 4S. I would, I would say probably more. Like oh, shit. that's uh, that's, that's what I got in my nigga. Oh, he got a crate, and that's that two two. That's that low get t- uh, diff gear. I forgot about that. What are you saying, Super Dad? It'll be fun. It, whatever it is. I got that cool. in my nigga. Okay. Are you the 2250 uh, Hobby Wing uh, combo? Yeah. Max 10. My, mm-hmm. Man, my shit moves. All right, that's what's wrong, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got a right. question. Jay Mitch. Oh, he okay. took a pause for the call. There it is. He was saying, um, yo, they did they did a nice job with their motors. Castle, I mean hobby wing. Yeah, they did a good. I like their motors, man. And the, yeah, the, the G2 combos is nice. I haven't had an issue with them. Nah. I'm still like, castle all day, but I I I, I respect yeah. hobby with For bashing, though, Jay Miss they, they pretty cool, man. For bashing. Yeah. I never, yeah, I I I I like the newest and latest, latest and newest, and, and all the hobby wing stuff has been, you know, been keeping me on my toes because I used to go and buy the XLX twos and all that stuff in bulk, like buy two or three of them at a time. But I can't do that no more. I buy one or two things at a time now because of hobby wing, the new hobby wing stuff. I mean, the RC Daniel saying uh, everything was plugged in, 
right do y'all think it's because of the florida heat i don't know what y'all getting down no. there but i still don't think 16 tooth would mess with the florida heat and I it's mean, okay you- it's hot and that like you could be hot to me 160 between 160 and 180 i still feel like that's still good temp. You don't, you know. Now, if you're going up to 200 degrees on the motor, you got an issue. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. But like, I like this, like 160 is perfect. So hot, uh, you know, touching anything at 160 degrees is definitely going to burn. You can't hold your hand on. So that's why I come back and say, "What's your temp? You have a temp gun." You know what I mean, but of course, I think heat does play a factor. But again. Do you have a temp gun? Go to Harbor Freight, go to Amazon, get a cheap temp gun. Let's get some temps. I want to see people telling me degrees. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me what it felt like. It felt like it was about 180 degrees. <laughs> what your temp gun say? Or 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 if you want to talk about feeling, tell me that when you touched it, like some skin came off. You got a third degree burn. All right, then it's too hot. You know what I mean, <laughs> I mean that's a valid point though, because you you our bodies ain't built. To be touching 150 degrees uh-huh. of nothing. <laughs> like when my mom used to run my bath, that water probably was like 120 degrees. That was hot as shit to me. But to her, it was nothing. I mean, like, just saying, like, it's just relative. it's relative. So she would set it to boiling? Yeah. <laughs> All those oh, women yeah. take a nice, like a regular normal shower. They take hot ass showers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They built up. different. They built crazy. That's so how my grandma was washing dishes. If it wasn't smoking when the water came out, she was like, don't wash my dishes. It ain't clean. You ain't disinfected nothing. <laughs> right. So that lady would put her fingers inside of hot oil, man, to check. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And be cool. I'm like, you ain't get burnt? Like, no. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah I'm cool. So, yeah, Arcee Dan, you ain't trying to give you a hard time. Man. Get a temp gun, but I I think uh, uh, you got a lot of factors going on there. Um, but check everything. Check the mesh. Check the motor direction, you know, like you said, you got everything plugged in right. But specifically, do you have your A going to A, B going to B, C going to C from your motor and ESC? And then you reverse the you, then you got to reverse within the ESC, not from the not by reversing two wires. That's the best way to do it. Hey, hey yo, J Mitch, I'll add one thing, man. If you feel like you got everything plugged in and you're doing everything right. I hook that motor, take that motor apart, see what the bearings, see how they move, see if your rotor even put together. Sometimes the motor, the rotors be coming apart, you know, mm-hmm. um, that can cause the motor to, to run slow. And so, something you touched on too, are you bashing? Are you running it back and forth, up and down, zipping up and down the block, or doing whatever you're doing, and then touching it like 10, 15 minutes later, talking about it's hot? Damn sure it's going to be hot if you ain't stopping, if you ain't chilling. So... You gotta give it a break. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So um yeah, guys. Um I'm trying to think. Well, any other topics anybody want to touch on? Anything else you guys want to bring up? Any other questions in the chat for us tonight? What do y'all what do y'all think of the, the uh first run videos this week release of the uh NASCAR cars? I'm a little mm-hmm. mad we ain't see it with the body. I want to see it with them bodies on there, see what that arrow from that car does. I like them. I mean, it's a bigger platform. I like it better than, you know, the Typhons and everything else that came out so far. That'd probably be the one I would get out of all of them, honestly. I, I can't wait to speed run that thing. That longer chassis with the, the, yeah. the little ducks and the splitter and everything, that's going to that's gonna move. So we going to have you a... got the rear diffuser and all. Yeah, that's gonna, that one's going to move, like for real. So let me ask y'all this. To, to gauge the size of it, is it going to be the same, the same. length as the Creighton, the Forest Creighton? No, it's not even gonna be it's that big. Than that. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna be the length of two Creighton wheels, side by side. Oh, mm. maybe two and a half. Like it's not gonna be that. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be. I would say an inch longer than the Typhon. Maybe a half inch to the front, half inch to the back, because they put a diffuser and a splitter on the front. It's just like imagine. Yeah. Matter of fact, imagine your um your Creighton. And then you take a Creighton, <laughs> put a limitless rear splitter and diffuser. I mean, a rear diffuser on the back and a rear splitter on the front. That's going to be the right. difference. I'm, I'm right. imagining. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that, look like, it looked like people going to be tearing up the parking lots, though, and um, in groups of three or more. 
Yeah, that looked like it's gonna be fun. It looked like it's gonna be fun to set up some little group races, some little pop ups. I think it's definitely gonna be fun to get them, and for that price, why not get it? Yeah. Get a so, couple. so basically, it's gonna be about the size of the Alarlo street cars, about that size. I think it's gonna be smaller than that, maybe it's smaller than that. It's, it's a little bit longer than the Typhon Ground. Don't, don't forget oh, the Alarlo is one tenth. Okay. Rolalo is one tenth. This is a one sixteenth, one fourteenth, one sixteenth. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Mm. Nope. <laughs> so about the size of a Fortech, then. Nah, Fortech is a one tenth. About the size of a Fortech. Or the... Nah, but a I think it's Fortech be... one tenth is a Traxxas tenth. Uh, Fortech tenth is the same as you know most everybody else standard uh, touring car tenth. I mean, I just say it probably be like the Arlo Arlo, um, what do you call it? The uh, the buggy they released a little bit ago. What was that? The 14th scale buggy or the 12th scale buggy? Yeah, the 14th scale one. The it might be one. something okay. similar to that with every with everything on it. Gotcha. I think it, I think it'll probably be just a tad bit longer or the same as the Termin uh, Omni Terminator, mm. the monster truck. Yeah, like, mm. all, within, all within that same length. <sighs> hey, Woo Diddy says my castle. What you what you saying, Woo Diddy? What you saying? And uh J Mitch. Oh, Doc says so Doc a 12th scale. Uh RC Dang says thanks for the help. Hopefully it did help you, brother. If uh if you need anything, man, DM me. We could we, maybe we can exchange some pictures or some video or some chat. Yeah. Um he, uh, he's oh we did it saying my Cobra 8 don't hum like previous. Oh man. And that's who what now who made the Cobra 8? Hobby Wayne made that 32 bit uh new ESC. <laughs> Man, that Cobra is just too much money. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I like the ESC, it's just too much money. I think. Let me ask you this is it better than is the 32 bit? Can you really notice a difference with the 32 bit? It's like, like, is it really like going from PlayStation? Or Nintendo six, well, PlayStation to uh, I mean, um, what Sega Genesis to PlayStation? Is there really that much of a, a difference? The difference probably is going to be in processing speed, as far as the data log. The data log probably be, yeah. to be more accurate that way. You know what I mean? Man, so. when I think of processing, my 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 throttle pulls, my braking should be different. The way it comes into the power and all of that, she has a uh, because it has a bigger processor now. Mm -hmm. I'm a, yeah, I'm but a, I'm you're a, still a, stuck at the, the same frequencies, though. PWM frequencies, frequencies, that way, they don't really change. Yeah, I hear you. It ain't worth it, Jack. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It ain't oh, worth, it's it. worth it. If you, if it's worth it if you pair it with, with a uh, Radio Master. So, so, so check it out. Hobby Wing new stuff is all 32-bit. And it's a difference than the old 16-bit stuff or 8-bit stuff, whatever it was. It's a big difference. Mm-hmm. That's what got them an actual competitor right now. So everybody using 32 bit now. It's the way. Yeah. The castle 32 bit is, is 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 noticeable too. But I think the Cobra Eight is okay. We got to see it in other applications. They got to put it in the A S E S C. We got to see it in the X L X two. I, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not buying a lot of six S E S C's these days. Mm -hmm. I need eight S or better, man. Yeah, like I'm not really buying a lot of six S E. You know, it ain't really nothing for me to, yeah, put success in right now. If you know, if Italian E X B V two come out or something like that, that's cool. I ain't really messing with A scale buggies right now. You know, that ain't my thing. So we, I need to see, need to be able to put it in the application that I can use it in. You know, mm. we did say he has no regrets. This is the way. Nice. <laughs> I, I, it ain't nothing to regret. I don't think. I think it's a good, great, great ESC for what it is. You just gotta have a home for it. That makes sense. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if it's, you know. For the price, I don't know if it's worth making a new home for something you already own. Like, if you already got a Max G2 combo, fucking rock that shit. Why are you going to replace it? You don't need to. Mm -hmm. Unless you just bored, you know? 
And Teddy, I would like to say I'm proud of you. You using your turn signals. Every <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> even yeah, even when you, even that. when you're not turning, even when you're not turning, right? Even when you, <laughs> I'm at, I was at, I was at a light, man. I was at a light, man. You at the light for thirty that. minutes. You had to turn signals off for hours. <laughs> hey man, I was I was waiting for the light, man. I can't go across. <laughs> you got your hazards off. <laughs> man, I think you had I think you had your blinker on when you was talking, bro. Like for real, for real. Like that blinker been on. You might want to check your blinker fluid. It's been running for a while. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, just, I'm telling you, man, the lights out here different, man. It's different. <laughs> I'm in the bad part of town. Is this the part right here? They jam they set everything up to get you jammed up. Oh, okay. So you're trying yeah. to throw them off, then I get you. I get you. It makes sense. Oh no, no, that's what they do. They they turn the lights up, you know, the timer up so they can come get you. We gotta sit there. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, 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 boy. We go cruise through. <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, J. Mitch, I think we good, man. I think we can wrap this one. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it. Um, I'm going to say um, thanks to everybody. I know this uh, Gap wasn't here. Shout out to Gap. He came in. Happy to see him. Uh, but let's let's go through everybody and get everybody's you know close out statements we start with you ted let's 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 give these people some good thoughts for the week well everybody make sure you use the turn signals <laughs> um no nah, but seriously uh you know like i said every, every week i say the same you know i mean make sure everybody have a good work week make sure you stay in touch with your family you never know they might not be here today tomorrow never uh make sure you get some rc in make sure that you know you come back and tune in with us because we always got good topics and we appreciate y'all for coming in with us and I'll just have a good week. That's all I can say. All right. Game dog. Peace and love. Peace and love. All right. Big Reg. Man, be smooth. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Catch y'all next week. Uh, Super Dave. Yeah, man. And uh, y'all have a good week, man. Uh, Blessings to everyone. Uh, love on your family, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, go ahead, Rattle. You got it. All right, well, That's we got one more question from R.C. Daniel. Okay. Um, he said, on the ESC, do y'all up the battery voltage or turn the battery voltage down? Whoa. So, man. voltage limiting or voltage cutoff? Cutoff. I feel like he's talking about, what's the, uh, is that called the uh, BEC voltage? BEC voltage. Cause that's the only voltage you could turn up or down on all ESCs almost. Plus yeah. the cut -off well, the only reason yeah. why he would need to turn the BEC voltage is if he was trying to power up a stronger servo or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah stock out the box, you wouldn't need to change that. You wouldn't need to change that. And I don't, I don't know yeah. if Hobby Wing has the voltage. Oh, cut -off. He, oh, he voltage cut -off. oh, voltage cut off. What you can go down to what like two point eight on them. Whoa, 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 whoa! Three, three, seven for I me, my man. With I'm bashing it up, though. I, I would not fool with that. Set it to three, three seven. seven. I'm not saying to do that. Set it to yeah, medium. Yeah, bro. Set, set I, it to medium or high. You're gonna tell some batteries up. Just leave yeah, it stock. Yeah. Leave it stock, man. That's the gonna ruin some batteries. Yeah, quickly. You're gonna ruin some batteries. And that's that, and definitely over discharging your battery will lead to heat. You will have some heat. Coming off of that, for sure, and some, and along with some battery. Which entail will set puff. that joker on fire. Well, you gonna be the new yeah, puffy? Yeah, who did it three folds, right? Three folds, fine. Asking your life folks for one more chance. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's it. You say you got that three point four. That's 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 kind of low, bro. It's, especially if they not good batteries. Yeah, yeah. three seven is like for bashing. Yeah, yeah. I say, and if you got some cheapies, you might want to go to three eight. You might want to stay at three eight, man. If yeah, you got that storage, that storage charge. Yeah. <laughs> that three four is storage. Yeah, yeah. That's... I mean, you can run it as low as you want, but if they cheap, you don't. You can't complain about them. Don't you know? You got. We got to have the full story. You got to be accountable. You can't say I, I set it too low and the batteries puffs. But you run in the ZOG originals, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's your fault if you run in cheapies. If you got high quality batteries, you can fool around. But I would say 3.8, 3.7 to 3.8. I wouldn't go 3.4. Yeah. 
Oh, and another thing, I like 3.8 too because it'd be faster to recharge your batteries because you ain't at 3.7. You save some time in recharging your batteries if you just, you know, listen to your cutoff. So that's just me though. But all right, go ahead, Rattle. Go ahead, take us out, brother. Uh oh. What you want? All right. So y'all definitely have a great week. Make sure you keep your hardware in a safe place. Mm -hmm. You don't want to lose that. Exactly. And uh, by the time we talk again, I plan on being at 100 miles an hour. That's so, that's yeah, that's where we at. Y'all just hey, have a great week. I think Teddy said it earlier. You know, love on your loved ones and, and keep it pushing. Yep. So I, I'm going to close it out. I'm going to say I want to yes, give sir. a special recognition to Rattle Can uh, for being like this close. Let me get my, <laughs> this close my brother <laughs> and I know why because you had the wrong ESC in the <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go I'm gonna, you know no hate no hate got some good tips from the homie Reg shout out to Reg for giving you some good tips super Dave you have definitely uh, replaced our, our other spotter that we, you know, we don't place no hate on, but you have replaced him as well as coach and mentor for speed runs for Rattle Can. And, you know, once he, whatever money he makes off of that video, he needs to share the monetization. With you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He no, can, you don't can. want the monetization? All right, cool. All right, no, you no, just no. want the recognition. All right, cool. I got yeah, you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, uh, Let him I'm succeed. Gonna, <laughs> yep, yep. Oh yes, yeah, big Reg. Thanks for thanks for your contributions to today's conversations. Ted, uh, Game Dog, check us all out. We all got YouTube channels. We got some good content. Uh, for me myself, I'm gonna say look out for my video tomorrow. The 140 mile per hour crash to the limitless V2. That's coming. Mm. Uh, we're gonna have a productive week. And uh, that's it. Thank you all for your time and your attention, man. Shout out to everybody who supports everybody's channel. And y'all have a good night. Peace. 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 I can't say YouTube. That's that, that big, 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 big.